All right, one time to reflect. One day when you hear that, it'll be Yahushua here. It'll be coming back. It'll be splitting the clouds and be coming back here for his appearance. It'll be his last appearance. It'll make him. It'll come back. It's going to devastate everything. So you got to make sure you're in place today. Make sure this your opportunity now while you're on this side to consider your ladder in. You can see where the world going. The, the alarm love is on. The alarm is doing what the alarm does. Continue to go contrary to your hood. Keep doing the things that are uh, wind us up closer to moot. And it's our opportunity change to come back to consider with all these things happening, what type of person are we looking to be? One thing about it, when you choose salvation <clears throat> um, to be something that you want to really do, you got to consider something at the time. It costs you something. You can't be, nobody going to be saved. Nobody that's saved went through it. It didn't cost them nothing. Everybody costs something. A lot of times people look at, um, you know, sometimes people separate and look at They want to get saved so they can get their marriage back together, or get their kids and be a family again, or get themselves saved so they can get a better job or whatever it might be. When you choose salvation, a lot of times it'll put you farther away from things. So because your mindset changes to start to seek the most high, don't ever think that's the mindset of other people. People that want you to do well want you to do well for their benefit. It ain't because of your benefit. It'll be people that, you know, Kids might be on drugs or aunts or uncles or mothers and fathers and they'll tell them to get better, the family love you, the family wants you back. Let the family take on this some might. You know, they'll tell them, I like you better when you was on drugs. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's the truth. I have family, they, they want to call themselves, try to, people try to minister to you and tell you they want you better. They don't want you better. They want you where they can use you. Because people want you better, the better way, the only best way or the better way is to do what your hood uncommanded us. Don't be a fool, this thing wrapping up. It's getting closer and closer. They done told y'all by 2024, they said they'll be going to war with China. They already making preparation to get better weapons. Taiwan going to have an election. And China, they said if they do it, there's going to be a red line for China. Those tanks they sent into Russia, all this is provocation. Now Israel said they finna send weapons. And Russia told them they don't do it. They said it's going to be an act. It's going to be a provocation to a war. So Israel looking at sending weapons to Ukraine too. So this whole thing ain't about people. It's about them. They want to eliminate people. Again, I've called for it. It's time for everybody, race, creed, and color, get together. People that stand for truth. Time to oust all these people. That's who need to be on the street. Everybody that stand for right and truth, we need to get rid of every one of them. It shouldn't be one leader left in one of these country rules. None of them fit. None of them sufficient. Anytime you value money over human life, you shouldn't be in them. Anytime you tell them you care about the welfare and, and, the, and the, um, the, the benefits or whatever for your people, and you're killing other people, you're a liar. The best way to do it, everybody leave each other alone. That's the easiest way to do it. It's the worst condition. I can't see so many people with college degree be so stupid in my whole life. It's at the, who, who dying? Look at the Ukraine. Is it more soldiers dying or more civilians? Can you imagine you going to work and you get blowed up? You down in the basement with these dumb bastards. Put all these dumb bastards in the ring let them kill each other. Yeah. That's the best way to do it. Yeah. Do it like they did years ago. Goliath fought for all of the Philistines. We put Daoud or all the people can keep living. Let's take all these leaders with all their mouth and put them in there together. Y'all fight it out. Yeah. That's how we'll know. I guarantee you we'll have more peace. Yeah. Now when them fat, sorry, old white bastards or the black bastards or the Asian bastards want to fight each other, they'll use us. All of them can talk tough when our sons and our daughters out here risking their lives. Look at sometimes them show when they come on showing you vets in him. Eyes blind, limbs gone, can't talk, look like they were born disfigured. These people were taken in, did physical. People done paid basic training that went through all kind of special art training. They blowed up sitting at home and these bastards shaking hands, signing peace treaties. You got wives that had to walk off from their husband. You got husbands that had to walk off from their wife because they damn it from the military. They keep hearing bombs and explosions and shooting and can't get over what they're saying. All these tired bastards sitting at home making millions of dollars. It's always at the fate of people. That's what I can't get. I don't know why people would come and say, I don't know why everybody don't get together. Every one of them need to be out. Shouldn't be one of them left in there. Not one of them. Not one of them fit. All of them sitting around killing up, blowing up people at who expense. Leave people alone. Only time I say invade and kill somebody is kids getting raped. Kids getting molested, kids getting raped, women getting raped, blow them up. Don't leave them on the planet. Tell the people, give the people five minutes to get out. And they're right, get out, five minutes, we're blowing it up. That's how it ought to be done. Just killing people, just kill people, just stupid. Senseless, don't make no sense. Like I said, we the victim. Who paying for it? Who getting rich? The military, the president, the vice president, the secretary of defense, because these are the people authorized. These are the people sitting down me with these gun makers. 
These are the people sitting down with these bomb men. Who y'all think meet with them? You ain't meet with them. They ain't talking to you. Your secretary of defense, your secretary of state, your president, your vice president, your generals, your admirals. All these people meet with them. All these people making deals. Tell them we got to get rid of old stuff. It's outdated. We got to get new stuff. When you get them, what you doing? You killing more people. Get something that saves lives. I mean, we've been doing it long enough. Where we got with it? What, are we, what, what have we advanced to doing? Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Bigger war need to take place. Get every world leader out of there. Take the UN down. Take NATO down. Let the people run it. I guarantee you we'll have more tranquility and peace if the people ran it. We ain't got nowhere with these people. All we got is well, higher tax and inflation. Wow. Inflation don't affect them. They print money. You never seen the Secretary of State, you never seen the Secretary of Defense, you never seen a general or admiral applying for food stamps or welfare. You never seen them in an unemployment line. You'll never see these people trying to get no help program. These are the people that sitting in bills to Congress and Congress sign out and Congress getting a back kick. Everybody knows this. I don't know why it's still going. That's what got me. This is the part. I ain't saying them people don't know. That's right. So while we sitting around, we just talking, you letting them do it. That's how stupid the people are. They done brainwashed us, made us weak. Our men weak, just terrible. Men just weak. Our men weak. It's just terrible. They done weaken us down now. We ain't got no mouth. We so busy, afraid of dying. You don't realize you dying every day. Yeah. These people finna outlaw meat. They finna make meat a delicacy. Y'all don't even know about it, do you? You finna be eating worms and crickets. Let's see if I'm lying. It's on the news. They already pushing in England. They say they finna get rid of meat. They say the animals are killing the ozone layer. It ain't just the cow's fault. They say animals, period. They said you need to get rid of them, and you need to start eating more insects. You're going to be eating. That's what, listen, I saw a commercial in, from Britain. They were already telling the people. They said, let's me eat more vegetables. They're going to push you on worms and crickets. Who, how you decide what you're going to tell me what to eat? They said, they're going to be glow. They said, meat going to be a delicacy. They said, y'all got to start pre. Y'all grew up in a time when meat wasn't rare on the table. We were rare to have meat. That's what they want to push us back to. Those were good times. They were winning. People were doing well, and people were prospering. They're going to kill us. They're going to make your meat. I don't see how the people are so stupid. Now, I don't know why everybody don't quit fighting each other and realize what the real problem is. The real problem is the system. The system going to keep killing. Listen, what they're doing a little bit, when people start talking about it, you'll get a, they're going to either show you a black killing or a white person getting killed by black people so they can keep people's minds off of it. You take all them deaths and see if it don't, where you really put the blame at, the government. Everyone need government responsible. Don't y'all know all these people in the government? They ain't got one need. The only reason no people all sit down at the table today is because everybody at the table hand dirty. Everybody hand dirty. That's the only way they can sit at the table. When somebody got up and oust them, you tell them out of 190 country, ain't nobody got enough sense to get up and say, I'm done. All y'all got right. If you come over here, I'm shooting and killing every one of you. I bump. That's probably why North Korea don't deal with them. That's why a lot of countries, they try to tell you they're terrorists against them. They don't go along with what they're doing, just like Iran. A lot of people don't go along with what they're doing. The, everybody they told you was a terrorist and everybody they told you were bad, why other countries doing business with them? That's how they program. Anybody they don't like, they tell you they're an enemy. That's the same thing they said about us. They said all of us steal. All of us lie. All of us on drugs. They're the same lie they've been telling to keep people away from it. See, as long as you got a hate for me and I got a hate for you, we'll never talk. Yeah. And realize, I never said that. And you never said what they say you said. But we so busy taking secondhand information and watching the news story that they show us at their leisure. Because this other news story they can show you, they don't tend to show you. The news story, everybody in the game, I watch all the news, I don't trust one of them. All of them will show you what they want you to know. None of them will tell you the truth about their own country, they'll tell you the truth about the other one. So when you look at it, you look at the world is one with, uh, in India, they'll never tell you the truth about India. They got more child molesters than anybody. Y'all yeah. remember that date line to catch a predator? Yeah. All Indians. Yeah. Yeah. We a couple of white folk. Yeah. All Indians. Yeah. They know who it was. They teach a lot of, listen, when a man go out to a child, you sick. Yeah. You just sick. I don't really go at because you want somebody with a lesser intelligence. Right. I would get absolutely nothing having sex with a child. Right. Your body or your intelligence, either yeah. one of them, they make me sick to the stomach. Yeah. But this is the kind of people, they'll be intelligent with computers. and If you look, most of your people, your computer scholars, come from India. When they got scared, they thought they were going to get out of Y2K, they went to India. India the best with it. And you know what? A lot of your apps, a lot of your sex stuff come up in there, the Indians. It ain't every one of them. It's enough of them, though. 
Won't they announce themselves out? And this one I don't get. Once you call your people out and say, I ain't one of them, say every one of them, they're one of my people. If one of them, listen, if any of you guys, of any close to my color, and you grow, agree with kid molestation and targeting kid for sex, I hope you die and your whole family die with you. I don't hope, I, uh, what's the word, we, uh, you call the suspected way. Kids are innocent. I don't know how we ever got to a point where kids get a victim. I don't know how we ever got to a point that we agree with kids getting sexual molested and trafficked. They were showing some 29-year-old um, Chinese lady. Y'all seen on the news? She enrolled in a school in New York. She, uh, she was up there. She rolled in as a student. They were showing she went in online and did everything. She was going in to start sex trafficking kids. It was a white school, too. They showed the kids out. Yeah, she was going to school to get the kids out and sex traffic them. Ain't no reason for her to live. Once you know for sure that was she, once we know 100% that was what she was doing, kill her the same day. Just make sure that was what she's doing now. Once we know that's what you're doing, we don't need to wait. Don't use no whole bunch of bullets. Put one to the temple. Lay it dead on her temple. And listen, do it on public TV. Every, wherever child molesters arrested at, they need to see it. Every one of them waiting to go to trial, let them sit down and say, this one down. Say, your, your day tomorrow. Every day we put one. I guarantee you, we'll cut it out. Little kids, you be able to run outside and play of uh, the safety of somebody picking them up. Hey, can you imagine your kid? Years ago when the kid was kidnapped, you put signs on telegram pole. You looking at, nobody knew they was in another country. We never knew they would take them to another country. They've been doing this stuff. We figured they were missing. They were just around him, maybe somewhere in the county, maybe somewhere in the city. Whole time, these folk done got these kids done flipped out the country with them. A lot of these kids, they can't find on the milk cars. Them kids sitting there pulling tricks. All we got to do is get the sources behind it. And I tell you who behind it, too. A lot of your governments. A lot of government behind it. I'm saying, how you getting these people in these countries? You get on ships, you need passports. You get on planes, you need passports. How you doing it? How do you got a boatload of kids? How you get? How you doing it? That's how I know how you doing it. If it's tunnels, when we get them, I'm t listen. Every time we carry one on, we need to set them on fire until we find out how you. I'm sick. Let all that stuff you won't talk. I tell you, when I pour gas in your feet and start burning, you'll talk. I ain't putting it out of you. Listen, you got listen. You got to be hardline with them. For the sake, what? Let me ask you. What? What? What's too much when it's our kids? What's too much when it ain't our kids? There's no deterrent. There's no deterrent when you get a, when you get one of these bastards, and the first thing they can tell you, well, now you got psychiatry and therapy. Y'all do know they're saying the kids are the reason why it's happening. They okay. And the therapists say that need to be dead too. You are gonna tell me that a six-year-old kid can do something that's in a six-year-old kid mind that can draw me to make me have sex with them, and the kid is responsible and not me? You need to be dead. You need to be, put your license on your forehead and shoot a hole through it. That's, how, how do we get him? That's what I can't get over. How did we get here when kids can't be saved? How did we get him? And nobody talk about nothing. We got home. How do we get him to judge it? These people have no business with y'all. You sat down and you telling me it makes sense for two men that said one is a woman, the other one saying he's the husband to a man. Two women, one saying she's the husband to another woman, and we're going to let them adopt children and that they're mentally stable to do this. We sick. sick. Whole world sick. And these people elected about who? How do we get him? How do we get him to where I grew up? This was never a question. Uh, homosexuals could never have. The only way probably homosexuals could have got if he was the relative of them and everybody else was dead and they said, well, okay, no one is alive. There's nobody to take care of. There's no reason this should happen. We need a better system. We need a better system quick. Why y'all think the world tearing apart? All the so-called good people scared. Yep. I'm one of the few people I say, so I, I done taught people to Mount Elevator. I done taught with all kind of people. You know, they want to say nothing. Everybody a robot. They want to turn around. They want to look at me. They want to say nothing. I said, we need, listen. I said, we can change this. I said, I lost. My people, I lost them. I, I mean, I don't know what to do. I'm so irritated with people of color. I'm telling you, I'll leave y'all niggas. As soon as another color come out, y'all watch me. I'm a deserter. I'm going to get a shirt called I'm a deserter. Okay. If I ever, listen, let white folk come get me and put that skin on me. I'm chasing y'all niggas out of here. <laughs> y'all ain't going to stay here. I'm uprooting all that. Listen, niggas got to go. I'm telling you, I'll get back to Africa. I'm Africa. I'm telling you, y'all out of here. I'm telling you, I'm coming with a noose. I'm going to wear my pointed hat. I'm going to be swinging my rope. 
Dixie shirt, the whole nine. Y'all getting out of here, not today, tomorrow. First thing in the morning, y'all gone. Let them white folk call me tomorrow. The one that get told Uncle Rucker, I'm going to get one of them Uncle Rucker tests. Let it come back and it tell me I'm a 103% nigga with a 2% margin, a white man with 2% margin error. I'm out of here. I just need to make sure he ain't got no error. That's all I need, no defect. Let me get that, that um, what that stuff Michael Jackson had? No, better log go. Let me get that in the morning. Let me get, and my hair be straight and come down and be blunt. Y'all done. Ain't that right? Walker, hey, Tom. I said, I don't know no niggas. <laughs> I'm going to be straight for I'm telling you, I don't know no niggas. I'm going to be dedicated to my race. I done tried. This one, ain't, this, this, this one don't give you. You just don't. People cut. We don't, we don't reciprocate. We just don't. We don't, we don't give back. It's, it's an energy and a vibe. They, it's our food. It's, our, uh, it's, it's what we watch. It's what we hear. And it's the people we associate with. We don't reciprocate. We don't know how to give back. It's an energy we put out, and it's an energy that we have to get somebody to get, and we got to give it back. I'm just being honest. That's the only way we survive, and that's why we're so negative and so destructive, because we don't give off the right energy. We don't know how to radiate to each other. We don't know how to really, um, how to, um, 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 I guess, kind of build one another, set one another in a set. I'm telling it's, it's a positive energy that you can get from your own people that kind of give you a better outlook on things. You'd be surprised. It's, it is. It's a positive energy. Somebody said to me, he was like, he was saying, he said, how you doing? He said, how you doing, my brother? I was like, I appreciate that. He viewed me as a brother, and as his brother. I appreciate that. I said, I'm doing great. And let him know the same. I want to let him know I was just as concerned about him and his welfare he was about mine. And that drive any heightened alert we might have had about each other, this nigga might try to take some. This nigga might be up to some. This nigga might be some fag or something. You know, whatever. I ain't saying that. You know what I'm saying? Whatever energy we have, because we do, we do approach each other with a really bad energy. And we don't get nowhere like that. We really don't. We have a really just bad energy about it. And we don't consider. And it's because nobody ain't talked to us about it. Nobody hadn't really talked to it. We, we took it for granted. We took it for granted. Live and let live. That done died now. It's kill whatever living. It's hate anything that don't do whatever it is you want to do. We got to change that some kind of way. One of us getting out of here. I know that. And we just got to start working with our kids, trying to um, project something different with them. But if nothing else, I think we've lost another. I think our tool adopt is done. We pretty much just lost it. We just got to work with the kids and try to get the kids kind of mind on how to work with each other and look at what kind of energy you put out. Let me get two of them. Let me see. I need to get some energy from a young people. Who am I going to get? You coming around? I don't want you to volunteer too fast. I'll get you on the next round, though. You don't want to volunteer too fast. I could have said, come up here, and then I'm going to shoot them, blow them in brains out. You still going to come? If I was going to shoot you and blow your brains out, you still coming? You were? Well, come on up here. You crazy. Come on. I need more people like him. He said, I'm out there. Come on up here, crazy. We need more crazy folk like you. Let me get somebody like him around. Let me get somebody else with some. Who, who else we going to get up here with him? Let me get somebody else. 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 I know you got energy. I want to see somebody else. Let me get somebody who you don't. You know what I'm saying? I already got this man here. He on a suicide mission. Let me get somebody who you don't have that energy. Come on, Xavier. Exactly. Come on, Ms. I know we're in trouble. Come on, Joker, you broke your leg or something? I know it. Yeah. Some, they put some of their fruit loop. So, um, all right, you good? Come on, what's wrong with it? My mic kind of loud. Y'all right? It's too loud. Hold your hand like that. All right, let it go. Let it go. Let me just hold it. Let it go. Don't let it go. Don't try to hold. Just let it go. Relax it. Just relax it. That thing don't work. Let me see. Try it again. Let it go, Joker. You ready? Yeah. All right, come on. Try it again. Let it go, Joker. <laughs> yeah, that pipe holder. Don't check the other one. First, I got to make sure you're real. I know you're real. You could be a toy. All right, let's see. Can it do it by itself? Man, that's sick, man. That's sick. You know I can't do it by itself. All right, y'all ready? All right, now what we're looking for is positive energy. Y'all got an opportunity to show your people, humans in general, that young people can give positive energy to each other. Y'all got it? Who's going to be negative? 
Man, put your hand down. Joker, you know good well as you, Joker. Slow as you walked up, man, he gonna help you, all right? You need help. You need help. You ready? Do you know you need help? Look at me. You need help. All right. Well, you don't have any. Oh, you do too now. Don't think you ain't fall. All right, y'all go ready. So what we're going to do, we're going to see if you can help a brother. All right? You don't back up. Matter of fact, he's going to stand. You'll just walk up to him and talk. Do you ready? You just normal you. Positive energy, help. Yeah, him. Take one. How you doing, brother? Stop. How did you get over there? Joke, you pulled me away. He coming to help you. You can't go nowhere help nobody. You sick. You probably go down back up a little bit. Matter of fact, you come from over here. You gonna walk up to it. You just walk up. You see a brother walk. Matter of fact, let me see you. You'll come and you'll kind of walk eh, from about right there so they can see you. You just walk and he'll walk and meet you. Y'all ready? Uh, pause the energy. Meet him. Take two. <laughs> the camera gotta go. Y'all don't see TV. What the camera gonna be the way back there? Come on back here, man. Come on, man. What y'all doing, man? <sighs> y'all make me nervous. You ready? Uh, back up to this tech. Right there. Pause the energy. Me. Take three. What you look at the camera for? You want them camera hog guys? You probably looking at him. How you gonna help him looking at me? Talk up what we can hear. Y'all gotta talk. We hear y'all. How you doing, my brother? Yeah, little Lord. That way we definitely can't hear y'all. How you doing, my brother? Not good, brother. What? Talk loud. We hear. How you doing, my brother? Not good, brother. Uh, uh, <laughs> It ain't one of them old sick, crazy shows. <laughs> Not good, brother. How are you, brother? <laughs> oh, y'all skinny. Y'all white. How y'all talk? Come on. Where the energy? All right, come on. Let's go. Go, go. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Look at him. Don't look at the camera. Listen, um, serve you and, uh. What? Uh, when the camera asks you, what? I don't know. That's all I can come on with. You still feel like suicide when I'm talking to you like that? Yeah, let's get ready to go, man. Police for the come. Come on, man. Let's get somebody. Thank you. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Write your own suicide. No, we'll sign it. That was horrible. What y'all think? Let me say. Come on up here, Malachi. Yeah. Joker. Come on up here. Yeah. What you talking here for? You going over there, Joker. I ain't going to use you. Use somebody else. All right, come on, John. Try to act like he called out of nowhere. Your hand been up for 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, hold on. What are we going to be? Positive energy, negative positive. What we got? Positive. 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 They got to be able to hear y'all too, all right? Positive. Who negative? I'm positive. He said he positive. Negative. You negative? All right, positive, negative. All right. Positive, negative. Take one. They gotta hear you. How you doing? They can't hear y'all. Let's start over, man. Y'all talk what folk can hear y'all, man. Y'all on camera. Positive negative take two. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, little lower, little lower, little lower, little lower, little lower. Positive negative take 50. How you doing? Start over, start over. Oh, start over. I'm thinking the same thing. All right, you get yourself together. Can we hear y'all so they can hear y'all, please? All right, a little loud. How you gonna say it? How you doing, my brother? Who? Say it loud. They gotta hear you. How you doing, my brother? Can y'all hear him? No. What you gonna say? Not too good. They can't hear you. Not too good. That's what I need when they hear. Not too good. Yeah. Y'all right, ready? All right. Positive, negative. Take six yourself. How you doing, my brother? Not too good. <laughs> Stay strong. Are you doing all right? <laughs> all right. So we got to get y'all when you come. Well, now we used to have no concern. We're going to try to get concern. So we got to have some concern. We don't want to get overly tied into it. But we got to put some kind of concern in there because now we got to try to move our brother, try to get him out what the situation is. Now, it ain't no cracker nothing like that, is it? 
Okay, because it'll crack. You're going to be having a long money. So you got to know what situation to get into. You know they're all drunk, they're going to need a ride. When crack, they don't need to borrow some money. Okay? Lights getting cut off. All these are money borrowing. You got any money? Yes, sir. You do? Yes, sir. Yeah, man, I'm on that crack. And I got light to do. No, you just say you have some money. You, don't, you can't say I got money and I don't. All right, so we try it again. Y'all ready? Positive, negative. Me, 8950. I can't hear you. They got to be able to hear y'all. Positive, negative, take 2073. What happened? How you do, my brother? Not too good. Just stay strong. I'm trying to get positive, positive. Let's try positive, positive. Let's see how y'all do. Come on, positive, positive. Take one. How you doing, my brother? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing good. What's up with it right here? What is this? That's what I did. Who do that? How you doing, bro? What is this? Where y'all get it? Come on, man. Give me something. What's up? Come on. How you doing? That's it. Bring it in, man. What's up, man? Try to see a color man doing good for himself. That's how y'all got to be. Energy. So you can come on. Come on, no. See, you can feel that. You want to be able to feel genuine. That's all genuine, all right? Brother need to see you concerned. You say how I'm doing, you really concerned? All right, so let's let, week on the back. Come on, little time. That's it. We ain't going to dance or nothing, but you know what I'm saying? Come on. Get my gun. Bring my gun. But that's in my kidney. I got a pitch on myself. Let's try it again. Safety. Safety first. Yeah, a little high. A little high. The kid in the wrong way to the but I'm gonna piss on myself. They hit that thing. Well, who taught you that? Dave. I could have peed on myself. All right, try it again. Come on. I gotta get it. Where are It's a little better though. You know what I'm saying? Y'all right, got it? Genuine. You're gonna be genuine, you wanna be genuine, all right? Y'all ready? All right, positive, positive. Take 59, 7. Go. How you doing, my brother? What happened with that buck? <laughs> buck, you shy? What happened? Yeah. Who the man, buck? Yeah. They can't hear buck. Yeah. Who the man, buck? Yeah. All right, thank you, buck. Let's try it again. Sometimes you just got to give them a little courage, man. Ain't that right? Y'all ready? Positive, deposit. Take 59 million. How you Let's go. How you doing, Robert? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing too. All right. That's better. That's better. All right. Thank y'all. All right. That's getting better. Better. <laughs> Joseph. Robert, I would use you. Ain't nobody your height, though. <laughs> yeah, he got to get Leon up. Uh, where big lurch at? <laughs> Joseph, come on up here, Joker. You know I don't like you. Come on, Joseph. Come on, Eels. Goodness. <laughs> what you think when every time when you see a boss of cereal? Do you want to just stab him up? <laughs> you know, you see a boss of cereal, just die, die. It ain't you, though. Uh, can I rub one with that? Woo. <laughs> I, you, I bet you can bake some cookies, can't you? I know that keebler. All right, so what y'all do? Positive. You positive? You positive what? You took the COVID test? Because you in here, you said you positive. Is you positive? Yes. Wear your mask. I don't need Well, you don't need a mask. You just said you positive. What? You just said you were positive. As you took the COVID test, what did you say? I'm positive. So like, all right, you ready? <laughs> they got COVID. You see how your brother throws you on the bus? All right, so we got positive. I'm positive. Huh? I'm positive. You positive. I'm positive. Positive. I need to see the energy. Y'all got it? Genuine. Y'all ready? Positive energy. Take one. How you doing, Rocky? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. But you never scare me like that no more. (laughs) 
We don't want to be overly positive. No. Yeah, good energy. We try to get them to learn how to energy for each other. Come on up here, me and you. Come on, Joker. See where you at. Robert, he bought y'all. Come on, Robert. Help him out, Robert. Oh, Robert got that necklace. I know he positive. <laughs> Give him that necklace. That bling bling got to sit on. Robert, when you come, you got to bling. You got to do it like this. You got to come like that. When I take you, yes, sir. <laughs> come over there like that in here. You got it? You ready for him? God almighty, Robert. <laughs> Robert can be the weatherman, ain't it, Robert? Robert said, Randy, you like when? And I thought you, room, everybody over wet. You ready? Y'all ready? Positive, positive? Yeah. All right, you ready? Sure, yeah. What you want to be? Uh, I'll be positive. You'll be positive. <laughs> Take your hands from behind there, positive. <laughs> Move your hands positive. Y'all ready? All right, I can't squat. I got to get them. Positive, positive. Take one. How you doing, man? Hello. I'm good. Are you good? Yes. It took him a minute before he got it, didn't it? <laughs> Robert moved it hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Let's leave one organ on this side and we'll try it one more time. All right. Robert took an organ. Took, like, I'm good. We all ready? All right. We'll try again. You ready? All right. Robert, you already over. Your hair reached so far to back him up. Robert ain't got to go on Robert's head. How are you to grab it? <laughs> y'all ready? Positive energy. Y'all look y'all ready. Lean in. Are you ready? Take two. How you doing, brother? Are you two? Yes. All right. How about you? I'm fine. Come. All right. That was good. I thought I'd come to say we're going to give me a song. You know what I'm saying? Huh? <laughs> See, he asked him one note, was he two? He said, I'm fine. You two? That's it. They said, all right, enough of this right here. We good. They <laughs> <laughs> said, enough of this. Move on. Good one. But we got to start implementing again. I'm t the, world, the world is terrible. If we don't make it, if we don't make changes for ourselves, it's just going to keep spiraling out of control. It seems simple, but um, and it, it can be. You just got to be willing to put a side of yourself out the way and not walk out just looking for trouble. You don't, if you don't believe it or not, I, I've been that person. You can really carry yourself to a way that you're really looking for trouble. You are. Because, like, people say, man, every time I look around, it seems like people trying with people. Look at what you put out for energy. I'm telling you, it's, it's something we don't be careful about. It's the energy you can put out. If we don't start looking at what energy we put out, you, don't, you won't see why so many different things are come your way. We got to start changing what we put out. Always minded about Yahuwah. He got the only Durah. Make no mistake. It's the only way. But we still got to be mindful about things we do. If he told us, according to the writers, that we the or uh, other rights, we the light. He said, you the city that can't be hid. Which means there's something we're supposed to generate, just like those lights. Those lights, regardless of what's said, they hadn't said one word. All they did was their job. And you can't deny they're not shining. If we just do our job, they can't deny we're shining. That's just being honest. If we do our job, just like he prescribed it. Don't, listen, the man who designed those light, designed them to put out for a period of time and designed them to put out a certain output of wattage. You ain't going to believe it. They're doing their job. The man that designed us, designed us to put a certain output out and to, and to run for a certain period of time. Can every one of us say we're doing our job to full capacity? No. That's right. So we got to go back and look. So we back now. Sometimes what you'll find, when you get a product, and you find it's not putting out to full capacity, you send it back to the manufacturer. Because the manufacturer knows the specs. The manufacturer can go back and examine to see whether it's a defective part or whether it's a defect on it or it's operator error. Hello? What well, else? I wouldn't say uh, operate error. Well, it would be operator error for us because he gave it to us and we don't know how to properly dispense it. We don't know how to properly uh, generate it and use it. And so that's why a lot of times we don't receive what we're trying to get back. Hello? That makes sense? So we're here to try to get it better. Y'all got it? Listen, you ain't got to. Make no mistake. You one day away from waking up and not being here no more. That's me and you. You one day away from you waking up and not being here no more. And when you do, you got to meet the mosh pot. So for every one of us, it's to our best benefit, it's to our fullest um, um, effort, benefit, to make sure we're doing what we're supposed to do. Y'all got it? Yes, All right. Y'all see the world in it. Don't make a mistake. Everything coming back just like he said it. Y'all have no idea. All this stuff is working just like he said it. Nobody saw it coming. It's just been going, and they trying to, like, now if you look, crypto starting to pick up, stocks picking up. Don't make no sense because people getting laid off. The economy is still in recession. 
We're in the highest inflation. England, all these places in the highest inflation. It really makes no sense that money is being generated, being made, not without losses. Which means these people are fabricating numbers at will in order to program people to get people moving. They, I'm telling you, they tell people, listen, in this year we're looking for things to pick up. How you know that? How you know that? Y'all see how many jobs land out? 12,000, 15,000, 3,000, 10,000. How are things looking to get better? Where are these people getting jobs at? These people are going to be burdens on the system. These people are causing jobs to shut down. It's like a tumbling effect. Every time you're taking out, you, <laughs> you can lay 1,500 people off in the same place, and these people live in some of the same area. They think about where they come to work at. Nine times ten, where do people get gas at periodically? How many of y'all have had to, had to buy gas near where you work? Okay. So you think about 1,500 of you that get laid off. You tell me 1,500 people never had to buy gas near where they work. So when those people are laid off or let go, how you make up for that gas? What about 1,500 people, every one of them bring lunch to work with them? How many of y'all have had to buy food from near where you work? So you and 1,499 more people like you get laid off, what's the dynamic effect of that area or where you work at? Which means now the places where they bought gas, the place where they shop, the place where they ate at, are going to have to do what with their employees? And those people who work there buy gas well. Where they work, where they usually going to buy something to eat at? Near where they work. So now what? It's a constant domino effect. And they're telling you things are looking to get better for the, by the end of 2023. I don't believe it. The best thing people can do is make sure you get, your, make sure you get better. It's a daily process of going through making sure we got this thing right. Y'all got it? I'm going to talk to y'all. I know our time kind of falling and failing. We can use the other screen. We don't have to use this one necessarily. We can use the, uh, yeah, we can use that one. <clears throat> Romans 15 and 4. The heat not on, is it? The heat <laughs> is on. It ain't blowing, though, is it? The heat ain't blowing. All right, listen. For what How many of y'all don't know all the words to that song? Just you know all the words in them song, to that song. The heat is on. That's all you know. What are they taking care of business? You know the words all that one? What just what they say? Taking care of business. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. Man, I thought he was saying what you say. You know, he had to teach me um, what that 90210? Dawson Creek. Creek. I didn't know. I don't I didn't know what I da, 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 da. He started laughing. I said, well, mm -hmm. These niggas here, I see them. <laughs> One thing, these niggas ain't black. I know. Because if I didn't know it, because I you know how you ad lib. Bryce, I mean, he told me, he said, I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. I didn't listen. I had a whole nother line. I said, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what song that is he singing. He said, what you, I said, how many of y'all do it? You just ad lib and you just make it. Some stuff you can't, because your ear had to be acute to certain songs. Because it's certain black songs, like if people, might, somebody might hear them, and they won't understand it, say, but your ears are cute, like, Back when I was listening to rap, it's stuff you would hear. People that didn't listen to rap, you wouldn't hear everything. So, but when your ears are cute to some, it's like, oh, I, yeah, I hear what they're saying. I've been, I didn't know NWA stood for nigga with an attitude to probably 2000 or something. <laughs> I never paid no attention to it. I, just, I know it said nigga with an attitude. Like, yeah, and all niggas got attitude. I didn't know the acronym. I just knew NWA. I had no reason to know. Listen. When I would come along, everybody drank. We ain't had time to be looking up nothing. <laughs> Wasn't no computer like that. You talking about in 87? What computer are we going to look on? No black screen with red, with green letters. There's no reason to look it up. What like you had, what you going to do? Look it up on your phone? No. Most of y'all didn't see a phone. I had a phone in 1989. They came, yeah, I had them back, back in the day. They don't know nothing about that. Yeah, that, that one, it was serious. That one, them phone cost about $1,800. Them things were high back then, boy. But a nigga had to be somebody. You had to be a drug dealer or a doctor. All right, this is all right. <laughs> 15 and 4, this is Roman. Listen. For what things soever, Nikatab, Nikatab for our Lamed. That's the truth. Whatever was written before was written to teach us, to instruct us, and show us. And that's important for us. Uh huh. That through endurance, going through without giving way, and the Nakum of the Kitubim, we might have Tikva. Or the writings, we might have 
a core or have an attachment. <clears throat> I, um, important. I guess I kind of recite it in my mind so I can kind of think about exactly what we're doing or what I'm doing when we're going through. It's, it's that important because it's easy to kind of serve off or swerve off from what you're doing. And a lot of times you go through, depending on the attitude or dealing with or what you're dealing with, you can kind of drive on you. You can kind of take away your own. And um, the thing that we want to try to make sure we do is do it the way that he established it. See if that's um, uh, Marshall Lee, they call it proper. Say that 14 to 12. Say something else. Have I been guilty? <coughs> yes. You know, it, it's good to be able to go back and reconcile. A lot of y'all might think you might be too, too far gone to reconcile, but you're not. If you're hearing you're alive, that's the best opportunity you got to make sure you get it right. You can, you can walk through life. And I, I see some, it's, it's some of everybody in here. You can, see the, you can see the bitter anger they carry. And it hurts you. It'll eat you up. You can be bitter about life. I mean, life is what it is, and it, it's kind of what you put in it to. I'm going to tell you the, the secret for me that I, I, I feel like I learned. I, I fought life from a different end of feeling like everything positive happened to a different group of people, never me. I felt like anything good, anything worth having or getting was for everybody else but me. So you kind of buy into that psychosis and you take a different place in life other than a place that's actually designated for you. You pick your place in life, believe it or not. I'm saying you pick it by what you put into it and what you're willing to do. Uh, it's a different thing. I was talking to um, the guys um, I talked to, a um, couple of chimps too. <clears throat> I try to be versatile. I don't want my whole life to be surround with just people. I try to, I'm being honest, because let me ask y'all something. Adam had rule over all the animals too, didn't he? So they had to understand what he said. And he had, he had to know something about them to be able to tell them to know what they need. So I want to, I try to familiarize myself periodically, you know, by at least one particular species I'm very familiar with, you know, and pick up little things about the, um, the chimp. You know what I'm saying? It's just things. I, I had to talk about it another time. But anyway, I was telling them about how certain things we do, how it's been through knowing people that have a connection to, you know, to be able to do some of the things. Y'all remember we had that conversation? Y'all remember we had that conversation? You, you remember that conversation? You remember, Chris? Are you thinking about it? You sure? You think it is? <laughs> Well, I talked about you with college and how and how the groups and fraternities you with. How, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I know where he was. Yeah, I was like, but no, I was saying how a lot of things uh, you can be privileged to doing, you know, through different connects or different things you do with people. You know, you can like some of y'all keep yourself in kind of one of them kind of like a warthog. You kind of keep yourself kind of box in to where it doesn't avail you a lot of opportunities to do things. I'm telling you something, things that you see people do what I learned, it's, it's opportunities. You just have to know people and know how to put yourself in position with people to do things. Like they say, being in the right place at the right time. Believe it or not, that's how a lot of things open up. You got people that get stuff like from what people call fate, you know. Oh, it's just fate or somehow. Then there's people that actually set themselves in a, in a type of dynamics where things actually kind of fall to them. You got what I'm saying? And, and, you, and that goes along with the energy you carry. Like a lot of time, you know, people see, they can't understand why things happen or why things kind of come or why things don't seem. Them. It's the energy you put out to. It is. It's the person you are. And you have to be really persistent about what it is you're doing. Even Yahushua was talking about how there was a woman and she went before a judge and then you don't have to get an 18th chapter of the book of Oriyah's where they don't read it. And he talked about she went before this Shaphat, the judge, and how he regarded neither Elohim nor did he regard Ish. But he said this woman kept worrying her and he said he was going to avenge her unless she wearied him. And he said your, your Abba was the same way. So a lot of times what a lot of y'all will do, if a door... If a door like it for the clothes, you'll stand there and let it close versus stick your foot in and stop it or, or knock or do something. I'm, let me tell you something. Life is just that way. You, you really have to have a push forward energy to get something. Nothing. A lot of way y'all attack it, it'll never work that way. It just it's, it doesn't work that way. You learn that from when you watch people and you watch things. It just don't work that way. You really have to have your mind persistent on what you're going to do. 
You really have to be made up for nothing. Nobody's going to give. You really have to have an energy for a push to that. This is what I'm going to do. You really have to. You can't, you can't let nothing deny you from it. You can't let. But again, it's always place setting yourself. Place setting yourself from your salvation first. Always my yes, sure. Nothing, nothing overrides that but what I'm doing. So anything I do, it has to kind of key around that to where it has a place with me and that's where I'm at. But my yes, sure is the most important thing I got. But when it come down to things that I'm going to do, I attack it with a certain energy force. That's how I'm going to get it done. That's your bottom line. Anything I do, I attack it with a certain energy force. That's how I'm going to get it done. And I'm going to be persistent in my mind to get it done. Nothing going to stop me. At the end of the day, here, I'll take, I'll take, like I said, well, I'm going to do this. And I'm, I'm going to do something different. But I'm saying, my, but the key in agreed of what I'm going to do is never the one thing. When it comes down to business or what I'm going to do, I really got my mind focused at something else. This is just something I'm doing to get toward what I'm doing. That's just being honest. Like, people to believe that money is, and even Shaul, Sha, I mean, Shalom, Sh, uh, Shalom, who they call Solomon, so he said money answered all things. To a degree it can. I wouldn't make money my source for nothing I'm going to do. Really, um, I, I'm going to tell you what happened. You got a lot of people, you take the money away from them, they ain't the person they are. You take the status away from them, they're not the person they are. See, you got you to gotta learn how to build character without things. You need things in order to operate, the tools you use, but the character, the type of person you are shouldn't diminish or shouldn't change, you know what I'm saying, because of money or because of things. A lot of times that's what happens. And what they, how this system set up, once you lose your money, your things, you ain't nobody. Look at Ye. Who, who talking about them Jesus? What them shoes? Jesus. People, before, man, them shoes hot. You see, they took, they show you. These people make you and these people don't, they really don't have a character. They really don't have a real force. The only energy force they got is what these people give them. And they don't look at these people made them. And these people, that's how the people break you. How you get a deal where, how we going to, in a deal we had where a man said, hey, I'm going to own your name. What, what you say? How we had a conversation? When did I look at money and say, because the fact you had a conversation is to say, what? Well, it's almost like you asked me, I'm gay or something. Well, how do we get, I mean, I'm saying certain things, why, how we get this conversation? Why, why, we had, why would you want to own my name? What, what would that give you? That every time, I mean, what am I, I mean, when you really look at these artists and different people, they really put themselves into something because they want to be somewhere. You don't realize these people make your energy hype. Come on, man, these people make your energy. These people put you out. These people make, and when these people get ready, they make you irrelevant. They did, just like they did with Whitney Houston. They show you, let me tell you something, with people of color, even the entertainment, they don't have a brain. It's two men of them, two talented, and they ain't got together yet and oust all these people. The Jewish people, the white, they should have been oust them. There's no way a Jewish company, there's no way a white company can survive without these black entertainers. I ain't beside, that's not saying whites don't have the talent or don't have it, but you have to have that mixture. Because everyone's not going, just like everybody don't buy into the black culture or the singing or the music. But there are people that will cross over and you need that. You, there's not, there, people don't just all buy into white culture or singing. So you need that mixture color. Just like they'll start, they got Hispanic rappers. They got uh, Asian rappers. They got a lot of Asian perform pop stars. Because you know people like different flavors. But the fact that these people say you never hear about white entertainers selling their name. Elvis is dead and richer than any of these niggas out here put together. Well, just, just think about it. When you ever heard they own Elvis name? When you ever heard this stuff? Oh, uh, Taylor Swift. When you, this is, this I'm saying, how did you get to this point that somebody has got you to where I own your name? You never heard nothing about, what's the other one? The Cyruses. Molly Cyrus and Daddy Cyrus. You know what I'm saying? None of these people, I'm just saying. You never, Dolly Parton, who owns her name? Shaq owns her name? I believe Shaq tell a lot of lies. I believe Shaq I ain't not against you. I, 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 this is just me being honest. Shaq black. I'm black. If I did, I, I'd tell lies. Shaq, Shaq tell a lot of lies. I can look at Shaq. He can't own all what he's saying and sit on that TV show. Huh? No, no, no. You know, no he, now, according to what he said, financial way he said, to me, if I had the clout he had and the money he had, I would be doing a total different thing. But he's owned. That's the thing about it. You don't own enough. Look at this is funny. I own somebody who owns, who has more than me. When he ever say, you never heard nobody. Madonna, Madonna's a billionaire. Madonna had more money than Jay Z, and Puff Daddy, and these guys have done way more than she done done. Yet she's richer than these guys. 
richer than Shaq. This girl has got so much money to it's ridiculous. These people make money. These people don't even perform. They old. They're not even relevant anymore. And they still got money. Like Elvis. Elvis don't have. What has Elvis done since 1970s on? Nothing. Been dead. Yet his stuff still said. And I ain't knocking. That's the system. That's the system in order to kick. Look, Jimmy Dean, the one, that one white, he did one movie. Y'all remember that boy, Jimmy? That white boy, Rick. I think he got the sausage people's son. That boy did one movie in a car ride, and he still the hot thing. White people, they still revere him. They put him up with that thing. They were like, he was going to be the great. He was going. How was he going to be? He only did one movie. But that just show you how they can keep a person and make them relevant. But you don't hear these white artists ever come out complaining. Don't, I can't use my name. When they come out, my name is nothing. It's always, they always make, and it, it ain't their fault. Because at some point, you really have to look at, the, you have to look at the whole black entertainment system. Because the fact that these guys had not gotten themselves together and said, enough is enough. We can operate out here. You can't keep blaming them because we, we learned, really, when, when it came down to rap, we learned in the 80s that they were being ripped off. So it don't make no sense for a guy to come along there and get They learned in the 80s they were getting ripped. Those guys weren't making any money back then. Them guys weren't making money. They were wearing them fat necklaces. They were renting. They were renting cars. Everybody learned. Them guys didn't make no money in the 80s. They really didn't make the money, not the way the producers, the, co you know, the companies, the publishing companies made off of them. But now for these guys to come along now and these guys to be hollering broken, how they getting played and, and the things they're going through, it's really repulsive. And they ought to be smarter than what they are. Yeah, there need to be an advocacy set up for these guys that want to come into the, to, the, to the music industry to set these guys up, to give people a playing field. Listen, if you good, nobody's going to stop you. Nobody gonna, they don't let a lot. They a lot of people, they'll keep them out because they know it's a threat. They, they're not going to let it, because they know too many artists flood the business, it's going to kill them. Especially young artists, they mind, they innovate them. Especially you coming straight from the street. You, listen, you get a young nigga out the project, he coming straight from where it's happening. So when he's talking, he's talking relevant. Yes, he's talking relevant. He out here, he in it. He gonna get out, he gonna get that house, gonna get that car, get away, get him a girl, go on, get them kids. That nigga gonna be up here, he gonna edit front. Man, what be going on over here, man? Tell me something. Write, write it down for me. And he ain't gonna be looking relevant. 50 Cent couldn't possibly know what's going on project. Right, right. <laughs> guys, stop it. Just stop it. How you know what's going on project? What project he done hung in? Man, you hit one of them guys to stop, man, gonna be some of Don Perron come out in crab leg and in the project, it baloney. Y'all know, y'all come on. Who remember that bologna and you make it to a cap and put that cheese on that thing? That's when a nigga real. When that bologna shoot up like one of them, like one of them hats and slap that piece of cheese on that thing and that thing melt down on it and toast that bread. You rapping then. See, so you speaking to a whole and then put that Kool-Aid. Boy, nigga, he rapping then. He like, he, he relevant. You see what I'm saying? These guys get out, they drink. No, no, they didn't die now. It, it, it doesn't change it. But I ain't knocking nobody else's um, um, neck. That's what worked for you. That's what you're doing. But I'm just saying, it don't make sense to keep complaining about something that you can change. You don't have to go through them. You got this. What that boy? I've got seen a, a YouTuber, the one boy from Kurtwood. He sell his own stuff. He live in Kurtwood. He, uh, they call himself Mexican. I don't know what he call himself. Somebody know these jokers. Who? They call himself Mexican. No, they, this guy, I forgot, he drive a Porsche. He in the project. He riding around. He sell all his own stuff out the car. He do his own stuff. He refused to sign with these people. And he take him. That's a young scooter or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I thought he had a car. He said he'd be on a scooter. And he around here. He passed this stuff out the car. So, But a lot of these guys realize. He look at He'd rather walk away clean with 56000 than to get 500 or a million and you owe them four five million. Right. Right. A lot of times they run. These guys getting money. They owe out more than what they got. That's, that's a bad business. And you really look at how much you got to do on that stage. You got to put a lot of energy out. Man, you tell me, shh. Man, look at that guy who you sang a song. You got up there, you cut, you got to roll, roll, roll. You can't get no, nobody going to let you go get no water. Go, nigga, keep rolling that song. Keep rolling, rolling. You burnt. Then you got to be back and do it again tomorrow night. And you got a 30 city tour. Man, you burnt out. Think about, you know what? These guys need to cut. I'm going to tell you, nigga, do one. I'm going to do one concert tonight. Y'all niggas finna pay me like Taylor Swift. Y'all finna pay me $15,000 per. We're gonna record this thing and send this mother everywhere. That's it. I ain't gonna do it no more. I'm not doing it tomorrow night. Man, done. I'm doing it. I'm doing the mother one time. That's it. Man, that's it. I made it ain't, ain't no money work. Y'all know how much energy that take? How much? You ain't even talking about the hours of, of practicing before. So even though you did it tonight, 
You got to get in. If you got an 8 o'clock that night, you get through, you ate that night, you don't get out about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. You got to get some red, get some eat. You got to jump right back up by that afternoon being there practicing, going through the whole routine so you come back out It's the same thing. On the radio stage in the morning, depending. Some of them had to do that because you, you got to hype it up to get it out. Then you got to leave that city, pack up, go to another city and practice, do the same thing. You got to go ahead and do the mic check. You got to get all your people. You got equipment. People don't realize it's a lot involved for these artists to get ripped off <laughs> with bootlegging stuff. Yeah, these artists getting ripped off. But I mean, I don't know why I said it, but I just, I just think we ought to do better as a people. And I think at some point we got to stop blaming the white race and start taking responsibility ourselves. We are our biggest enemy. We are big in the hate we got for each other, the destruction we do to each other, the killing we do to tearing each other down. Instead of, you know, tear down the people that really ain't benefiting our people. I'm talking about people taking. Just say, can't do his own thing. Ain't only the tan. That's him. That's him. I ain't talking about tan. That's his being his right. If Kim is taking from us, if Tim, Kim is manipulating us, Kim is hurting us, then oust Kim. You see what I'm saying? Let people do you. If you, I tell y'all in the same way, I never force y'all guys into nothing we do. There's a lot of loners in here, and I let y'all do it. All we got to do is compare our paychecks and see if your way makes sense. It ain't hard. Let's see what you're doing in the week, what I do in the week. I never seen a loner make it. It don't work. It's impossible. Let me tell you something. When you go out here, you're dealing with these people. You got to have, man, you got to have a play. You got to have backing. That's how these people beat you. You won't never beat these people. These people got backing. Okay, you find these people, these people got banks. Okay, these people got finances. You trying to run by yourself, you can't do it. You can't do bank with these people. You got to make friends. I'm trying to tell you, it's things you got to do. You got to make leads. I don't know where these folks get it from. I, I, I got seven that they their own person. I just, you know, do my own, do it. I just try to figure out, well, how much you got from that? I can't do nothing that don't make me no It just don't, to me, it don't make common sense. Why am I doing it that don't make me no money? It don't make sense. And you'll do it, though, you're going to break, I'm going to break the mold. You're going to break the mold, you're going to break your neck. Because you're killing time. You got to, listen, you got to have a leisure to go through him. Let me tell you something. People join groups, the Elk Club, the Knights, or the Round Table, the Masons, uh, fraternities, other things. These people realize you need that system. That extra air, when something come up and they know to see that joker, oh, he want of mine. Getting that sign. That's it. That, that's that edge. That's that edge. You pray it all you want to. That man, listen, that man seen that light, that man recognized. That's that edge. Oh, people got an edge out here. These folks don't realize. They don't, they don't realize. But I know you're talking about with football. On it, you catch them off the edge. You can run straps of folks, you don't get your back broke. You can catch folks out the edge. You got to have an edge on them. And you'll try, y'all to try that stuff. Y'all to run out here. You'll try to tackle the world. You ain't got no edge. That's why the world keep knocking you down. You got to have an edge. That's how you beat them. You got to have an edge. Y'all do stuff. Sometimes I watch, I said, you just let you do it. It don't make common sense to me. It scares me. Y'all think everybody, listen, these people out here not playing fair? These people not playing fair? You trying to play with these people, they don't play fair. These people have an edge. That's how they beat you every time. You coming out here trying to come out here with your God at you weird way, you're not going to make it. This stuff is already set in stone. I was talking to somebody earlier here when they told me about some stuff. They said, this stuff is so cricket, criminal cricket with these folks out here. Say, so you said it. I said, I try to tell you. I'm not a fool. Listen, I'm out here. I know how this stuff works. These people don't play fair. They're not doing it right. Y'all got your eyes on a lot of these folks. Oh, if I had it, you have no idea how it works. Let me tell you something. They're not one of these major companies out here. Their books ain't right. I, get, I don't care what their name is. I don't care what they come to call. Their books ain't right. Amen. Not one of them. Their books not right. And y'all niggas love them. Y'all hug them. You, know, you want to shoot your head straight in their behind. These people not, I don't, listen. These people not what y'all thinking. I'm telling you, I don't see too much before. I said, wow. Wow. My member, I just need to take my member, but you you ain't you, you you'll never know that other than what I tell you. These people, they they don't, they don't do what y'all thinking. They have no idea. Me and you were talking one time about saying you told me. They have no idea on how they Y'all have no idea what these people do. These people spend money, money, money on stuff you could you would never be. You will pray, you'll do everything, you could never do it. Because you don't know how to do it. Y'all have no idea. These people don't, they, listen, these people have a whole nother playing game out here. That's why you have to formula. It looks good. You'll watch this. When y'all see these people around, y'all say, go ahead and look. Go ahead. Lust with all your heart at them. You have no idea what these people are doing. 
You have no idea. These people are thieves. They are liars. They are crooks. They are mur they'll do whatever they got to do. And they're like, you know, they'll get you. They'll see, like, me coming here, steal that. And I run out. They say, he stole the lady pocketbook. He should be in prison somewhere. They'll never say it about themselves. Oh, no, no. Everybody who ought to go to prison, somebody who do something on the street crime, they do white collar crime on major ends. I'm talking about they really, I took her pocketbook. It could be all her bill money and everything she saved up, and I still couldn't do the damn it one no corporation do. They all run. They all run. And the system know they run. They'll predicate to put the people on you to break you down and take you and take from you. IRS ain't going to never go to Bank of America and get them and shut them down. They'll do Bank of America book. When they get through, they're going to find Bank of America. Bank of America patrons going to pay that bill. Bank of America folks are going to pay that bill. Bank of America ain't going to jail. You're going to jail. Let your stuff be wrong. You're going to jail. They're going to they take nothing from them people. They'll go through all Johnson Johnson, talking power. You think they know that talking power was poison when they put it out there? Who went to jail? Who you think gonna pay that lawsuit, pay that money? Them folks go straight to the federal government. They gonna get that little money out. They gonna bring them people back. And Johnson Johnson been shut down, ain't it? They can no longer practice in America. And you still love them. They still making shampoo and baby lotion. Don't you the pack but the but the baby lotion and the shampoo safe. Cause that's how you think. Y'all have no idea. Listen, get your eyes off these people. Let me tell you something. You better have integrity. You want to be able to lay down and go to sleep at night. And you know what they said? They can lay down and go to sleep at night. That's because you're soulless. You ain't got no soul. I just being like, they ain't got no soul. You got to have a soul the way you care about what you do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, business, you got to know how to do business and know how to move and navigate and, and do things. But at the level of what these people do, they not. And they make people that are honest out here, they make them give up their honesty to try to be like these people. Don't try to be like these people. Be like who you are. All we, do need, all we need to do is change the system. And I keep telling people all the time what they're doing. I am for the establishment and the building of our people. For the religion. The religion part all the way first. I want to see people of color get out and get a better chance. I want to see everybody get, out and get a better chance. Everybody deserve it. Everybody. I, I wouldn't want to say, just let us go. This is me. All right? I wouldn't want to say, just say white America said and all the powers to be say, you know what? Black people, y'all can go. All y'all can go. Y'all good. And then we're just going to keep the Spaniards or somebody else. I'm not in agreement with it. See, when Yasharal came out of captivity, one thing was good about putting Yasharal out, if anybody understood people affliction, it was us. If anybody knew what it was like to get beat and you made an honest deal and agreement, it was us. You should be the last person to do it to somebody else. You should be the last person should be good with some other nation being manipulated, being raped, being persecuted, being drugged, and being killed. Shame on you. You should be the last person. That is, and I think the so-called Negro has dropped the ball. He don't care about himself. He don't care about nobody else. You could really be a leading role model for a lot of people. You really could. Listen, you're, you're a person that set, when people see you, you can set standards. I won't call you an icon. It's probably something they got. I'm just being honest. You could be an icon on a lot of levels. I won't say icon, I'm sorry, not icon. You could, you could actually set a standard on a lot of levels. It's just, you know, they manipulated you so bad, you just look at yourself in a negative light. It is, and you've taken every other wrong turn to try to go against the grain versus try to get yourself on the right path. That's what we need. We need more men. I, I push on y'all guys. I, tried, I haven't been pushing y'all like I need to, but I will. Early day, I would have sold every one of y'all for $5 a day. When I had that mop, I said, I sell every one of y'all for $5. Every one of y'all. I won't buy nobody. $5 on my mind. I, they gave me $5. I got rid of every one of you. I said, just see it. Because at men, I look at this. I try to set the platform for our men. At men, there are things we do. We don't let women get in front of us. We stay in front of the women. And I only do that because I think enough for you. See, other places, they don't care about you being them. Listen. Other nations, other black, so-called black men, they need you to be at your lowest level. That keeps, them from being a, that keeps them from being an achiever. You don't ever want no type of people in your life. You got it? People that's okay with you, you ain't at your best, that's okay. You're just doing the best you can do. When well, you know that's not the truth. They're not your friend, they're your enemies. You, don't want, you want somebody to push you to your high. Listen, that's why you don't know what your expectations are, really. What you can do, you'll never know until you get there and try it. They give you so many fears. They gave you so many woes. They gave, ah, man, 
See, you, you're trying to worry. You're trying to get too much to worry. Ain't no worry. Listen, don't let these folk man. These folk they don't want to do nothing. They'll play that game with you talking about you trying to go for the world. you living in the world. There's nothing wrong with you having things. And I teach that. It's something wrong with things have you. Don't let make no fool out. I'm telling you, I got to change the way y'all think. Change the way you operate. Listen, I'm the, the so-called Negro man, you have a great ability with what you know. They just play you. They just play you for a fool. You, know, you see, you don't circuit yourself. It, in here, it's some of him. They'll keep you a low achieving rate because they keep you comfortable like that. They'll stay away from me. A lot of people, everybody here, and I don't, I, please don't come to me. Everybody don't come and talk to me and stay around me. They don't want to, you know what? They know I'm a high achiever. They already know I'm going to push it. I'm going to get it. Listen, ain't nobody around me going to keep me from getting it. It's impossible. You'll sit there if you want to. I'm going to get it. I ain't letting nobody. I ain't making no excuses. Ain't nobody keep me from doing nothing. Ain't nobody holding me back from doing nothing. That's my energy level. That's my energy level. That's impossible. I learned, listen, man, I learned that. I told you, man, I remember one time I gave up everything I had to be with them broke, sorry niggas I used to. Be what I took all them niggas and put them niggas up and had them niggas doing and everything. And I let everything go to be with them broke, sorry niggas. Them niggas got a job and opened their mouth. Talk sideways. That was a good thing, though. I took that $10 rock and made 20 That $10, $20 rock made me 125 got an eight ball. Don't worry about it, what it is. Listen, I started rolling. I started rolling. That's it. I said, you know what? I said, it'll never happen again. I never let go of what I'm doing to try to be with these niggas to try to be, you know what I'm saying, try to feel like, well, you know, one try to, a couple people try to make it like, oh, you know, forget where you come from. None of that stuff. I have no regrets. I ride in my neighborhood, if they get in front of my car, I run you over. No regrets. I'm done with you. Done. Listen, don't let people push you into not doing and being the best. Listen, you only hear one time. That's for every man, every woman. You don't let somebody push you in that mood or just do what you can do. Don't worry about it. That is your stupidity. And that is your energy level, and it's only going to take you so far in life, and you're going to be your own whole back. I'm not trying to say y'all no speech. I'm telling what I know. I don't let people get in here, okay? When you start talking that nonsense, you are talking to someone else. It will never happen. I set the bar too high for myself. If it's there, and I can see it, I can obtain it. Y'all got to learn how to I'm just telling you. I, yeah. You see, what you think about what I said? Full of junk. Who do you, what you think about it? D4 have no idea of doing it. You know the only difference between you and anybody out here doing it? The way you think. I'm telling you, everyone, every, I watch, it's the way you think. I know that sounds like, oh, he's trying to say, I ain't trying to say you nothing. I know them broke niggas had me like that. They'll, hey, and then it'll hurt you spiritually. There's no way if I'm not shooting my, if I don't see XL out here, how I see it here? How I see it here? My mindset is the same here. I'm not letting nobody stop me. Listen, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. You want to fail. You want to quit. You want to stop. That's your choice. You add nothing to me. It's just like Shaw when he went to see Cuff Nim. He said, when I went in, some people, whatsoever they were, he said, they didn't add nothing to me. He said, whatever they were, they didn't, listen, he said, they didn't affect me one bit. You have to stop allowing people to affect you. Your first goal and obligation is your salvation. That's above everything, above everything. And there's no way in the world that man put me here and said, just salvation and nothing else. And he said, a man that have a wife, uh, what he do? Care for the thing, what? Then he, how he can do what? He don't give me that and tell me, don't, don't try that. Why y'all think Yahushua didn't have one? He, in no way he going to get around the book. There was no way he going to get around the book. Because he had one. He told you, he that doesn't have a, a woman that don't have a husband can do what? Guess why? She don't have to give herself to that. That's the same thing with Yahushua. He was committed to nothing other than the will of Yahuwah. That's why he put a lot of things out. A man that has a wife, a woman that has a husband, there are other things you have to consider. At the same time, you got to look at when you attach yourself to people, I got to be concerned about your energy level and your, what, what kind of real expectations you have. You just good with, well, I don't really want that. I don't really want that. You really stay where you at because you're going to take something away from me. It, even if just to pull you down to be so strong. It ain't about trying to chase the world. Please don't take that mindset. But it don't make sense why I'm here not to get what I, what I came to get. Since I'm here, why, why I can't have it? Only time it's a detriment if it pulled me away, I can't be him. 
Yeah, I can't be. I can't serve him. That's that's my that's my agenda. Being saved ain't um, ain't as important as what I thought. It's really about getting the money. That's when it's a detriment. This is always my first. Period. How many times y'all see me laugh for that? I said I, I did money. I got to get. I came. When? When? All right. That's how we keep it. That's how we keep it. When I put dollars over salvation. When I said we need to get some people. In. When when y'all ever had to come? We need to get some more people in so we can get this money up. When? Ed read it. Ed said, yep. Ed, when you remember that, Ed? Ed, you did like this. You said, yep. Put your, put, your, I'm gonna, put your name on the board, Ed. Welcome home, Ed. Put your name on that board. And it ain't no good. I said, when y'all say Everybody said, no, Ed said. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I ain't saying that for nothing to me. I said that to everybody here. There's nothing we can't do if we keep this man firm. I told y'all over and over. Y'all just got to get rid of these jealous laws. Don't, get, don't let that stuff. Listen, believe me when I tell y'all this. What for you? For you. Ain't nobody at the way of y'all going to get nothing, get ahead, and get paid and leave y'all. Never happen. Where they going? Hypothetically, Cam. Let me borrow Cam. Cam just hit $4 million. Give him a hand clap. $4 million. <laughs> okay. Cam is getting ready to leave with his four million dollars. Hold on, man. Where you gonna be, man? <laughs> where, where, where you going? Where, how, the, the, in, in real life, how is he gonna walk out the door? He gonna be shocked. <laughs> we ain't here together. We were struggling, Cam broke Cam. Yes, we were no Cam, no Cam. You know what I'm saying? What this ain't happening? That part of our unit, what we do. What see the time people be thinking, oh, someone gonna pay me someone. Can't nobody get past you. At the end of the day, I, what we come together for, and y'all need to know that, if for the bar, for our salvation, all this other stuff, these are just things we using the tools to get through. Listen, I done learned, I had money. I ain't gonna tell you no lie. I had some money. At the end of the day, with all that stuff, none of that supersedes no salvation. None of that supersedes having a mind. I'm having a mind to think on, to consider, to look at my, listen, I'm always considering my latter end. That's never an issue saying, oh, and I get so much money, I don't have to worry about nothing. That's dangerous. I got to worry about, always you got to be concerned. Because it's the little thing, it could be a thought, it could be an idea, it could be something I hesitate, it could be something I procrastinate, it could be something I put in my, when EU came when he had that kid, he went and made a Zabak for them. He said when they were in the house, when they were feasting, when they had the moor, he said it might be that in their love they might have cursed this man. That man was this. So I consider what Yahuwah is doing for Yahushua doing me. He's constantly making intercession for me because he know I'm a man. And as a man, I'm prone to stuff. I'm prone to thought. I'm prone to injury. I'm prone to hurt. I'm prone to loss. I'm prone to gain. And you know what he's doing? That man sitting there, he said, I got to make intercession for this man. So I consider how vulnerable, how, what type of man Tony Smith is. So I'll never put so much into myself and not always consider it by the ability he give me. So when I tell you about obtaining these little things, it's because this is nothing. You guys have put yourself in an elite group. There are very few people in the world that will consider their salvation over women, over men, over anything of the world and say, I'm concerned about my soul. Yahuwah would not forget that label. I know he would not forget. He'd have rewarded me. Man, look, I walked away. I walked away. Y'all hear me? I, I, I didn't come up broke. I ain't, I ain't get broke. Nobody took that from me. I walked away because my soul. I walked away. That man won't forget your label, love. He would not forget it. Only thing I tell the average my brother, y'all don't commit yourself enough. I'm being honest, I know you don't commit yourself now. Him first. That man, listen, I need to hear that stuff. I'm being, then he said, he'll give you desires of your heart. I never question. I said, he's going to do it for somebody else. That's what I said. I said, he's going to do it for somebody else. I didn't question. I didn't have a problem with it. I just looked and posted it. It'll be for somebody else. That man will do it. We just don't wait on the way. Listen, put yourself wholeheartedly in like you were in the world. Put yourself wholeheartedly in for this man and see for yourself what this man do what he said. See what this man do what he said. The only way he'll do it, because you'll stop. You'll get afraid. You'll, you'll be afraid of. You'll say what he can't do. You start challenging, start standing man what his words say and see what that man will do. That's when I read, I look. 
I try to make sure I understand it. I, I look at how many years, I didn't, you know, somebody, somebody told me years ago, said, man, you ring, you ain't got to understand it. I told them, you stupid. And they were exactly right. Because all I was doing, you surface read. You surface read and try to imagine your mind. He ain't left nothing to my imagination. He left everything, five cents. I mean, just to come down and realize, to five cents, they may realize, you, sir, are a human being. There is no way I can have a spiritual conversation with you about the things of myself. I have to use these natural things so you can contemplate, so you can consider, so you can measure. Because I'm a man. I'm a man. How else can I know it? You have to be able to consider these folks. Oh, the spirit of JBT, this is nonsense. That man told you, he said, they all going to be taught of me. He said, everybody going to be taught of me. See, you don't need no man to teach you stupid. He said, all going to be taught of me. They all going to be taught of me. It makes sense. That's the only way we're going to be able to see the difference and the change in ourselves to where we can start to do things and we don't make things our, our total ambition and goal. Our goal is our salvation. Our goal is to make sure we leave him. We got to rest and play with him above everything. You're going to have some losses. You're going to have some losses. I got some losses. I got two daughters out there, grandkid. One of my grandkids had surgery today. My daughter didn't tell me about it. It was on Facebook somewhere. I said, I dare not even call to find out. That's where you put it, let Facebook deal with it. I'm not interested. I had to keep moving. At the end of the day, I ain't run behind nobody. My kids don't know. Anyway, let one of them walk. They know how to do it. What y'all do with my number? Lose my number. All my kids in the room, lose my number. Me, I don't have time. Listen. I ain't nobody got my heart. When it comes out of this right here, I done sold myself to what? This, this it. That's, at the end of the, I can't let nobody pull me down. Listen, you, whatever you and your energy, what you trying to do, that's everybody here. Consider it with your kids, your wives, your mother. Listen, people got their own mindset. And you have to have your mindset that whatever decision you make, I can't let it get me down. Uh, you know, I ain't saying things don't hurt you. I can't let you pull me away. I can only give you so much time. I can't let you pull me. You pull me too much. Hey, y'all going to be bad. Y'all pray my strength. They're going to be dang. Then I'm going to try to come back. That man said, what, what you doing? I said, yeah, I, don't, I, I can't say no. I, I came back. That man said, you don't put your hand to the plow. You don't look back. He said, you ain't even fit. See, I can't afford that. I can't afford it. There's a tight I know this, I got folks here you know, separated from wives, wives separated from husbands. Fulton had all kinds of lost kids. I lost on everybody. Y'all think that man going to forget our labor, Lord, that you, you stayed? You know what so many other folks did? They left. Yeah. They chased it. Yeah. You think that man looked and said, you stayed, they left. I favor them. I'm favoring you because you did what the average person will not do because of what you wrestle with and what you deal with. They let it overtake them. They let them overtake I can You can let stuff overtake That's all I live. Let it overtake It ain't hard. What they take it well, he got my foot. He won't let that stupid stuff. Man, he got my foot. He said, nigga, walk like you've been walking. Because they're going to be in your heart. Don't try to act like this. He ain't keeping me back here to do nothing. That man just said, all he did for Tom Smith, let me be straight for him. This the facts. Understand the matter, son. This the facts right here. Now make your choice. I'm staying here. When Yahushua had 84 Tom Medin, 72 walked out, tell me how the other 12 foot were glued to the ground. What did he ask them? See, y'all can't go nowhere because I got power over your feet, and, which he did. That, ain't that what he told them? I done locked your feet in. He asked them, he said, y'all go. That's all I know. You going to go? So what? he asked them, they had the power to do it. So what did they have? What did they have? Choice. A choice. You have a choice. That's why I love him. I had him for, he keep me. He won't let me. He said, why I won't? I don't need nobody. He said, I don't need nobody. I got me. Well, I need my wife. I got a lot to do and sleep on her with a gun to keep her there. Go to bed. I got to lay it on a tip on the, I don't, this too much. I don't need, do I have him? No. I'm going to think about it. Do you, does he really have me or you got me hostage? You got me captive. You got me against my will. I'm here on my own will. That's somebody else's story. He got them locked down. They can't go nowhere. That's not my testimony. My testimony is he just gave me a mind. Read this, son, and understand. That's all there. Read, and then look, look at my way. I do consider your ways. That's all. I'm looking at what that man say. Look at my way. This is a no-brainer. I'm him. I ain't nothing that. He just got me. 
where he won't got me, where I ain't got control over myself and, I, and won't let me go. Nigga, you need some help. He ain't got me doing that. He just gave me common sense to what he got. Son, this is the literature. Look at the literature. Look at your life, son. Man, I'm here on my own accord. Now I tell you, they ain't got beat no drum for me. Listen, I remember we had to start. We, I remember we start, we had devotion. Y'all remember we had devotion before we start? All that stuff. I cut all that stuff, walk right in and just start preaching. I said, man, I don't need that stuff. They had, you had, had to have devotion, got to have that, then you start. Y'all remember, remember we did, all that stuff cut out. I let, I let them just play in. That's not for me now. That's not for me, that's for y'all. I can walk straight to them doors, start preaching. Because we done done for me. Listen, a lot of stuff is just a lot of prerequisites people just put in the way of stuff. But I don't, I don't have a problem because I believe that's a part of it. But devotion and all that, I don't need that stuff. At the end of the day, we need to have understanding. I talked to y'all about that. I want you to consider, we all men. We all, you, we all human. You ain't, there ain't a feeling or nothing you can have I ain't had. Nobody else ain't had. You'd be a stupid fool to think you're the only person with that feeling. However you feel it, you'll let Satan beat you out and say, you know what? You're the only person feeling like this. Everybody, that's a lie. That's how I keep you divided and make you feel like you're worth it. That's a lie. Everybody here prone to think something. Everybody challenging going through something. It's all about how you deal with it. I get pissed and get upset. Then you know I get there. Okay, that's time to deal with it. I can't stay pissed for so long. I got to get it done. Long as, whoa, I'm still pissed. Whoa, I'm so pissed. Well, this still ain't done. How long? Been two weeks now. Still pissed. Okay, still ain't done. So as soon as you can come down, we can fix it. So you had to start marching and realizing how much time I'm going to kill up him. I need to get out here and take care of what needs to be done. Hello? I'm just telling him. You. you ain't got a feeling. You ain't got an emotion about to go through. Nobody. Everybody got them. You human. Stop thinking you abnormal for your feelings. How you help them? You're a human being. You, you open to anything. You're human. You're human. I want stuff. It's just me. You know, you're stupid. We all want something. It's all about how we go about doing it. Everybody don't display all the emotion on their face. Sometimes you'll see people, you don't know, they be hurt. You just don't see it. Everybody ain't laughing because they're happy. Some folks laughing because they're crying. You think it's you. I just be miserable. A lot of people miserable. That's why they go to the comedy club. I couldn't go to the comedy club. Why would I pay somebody to sit up here and talk about me? I can't sit in the front and go talk about me. Then they kick the light. Put the light back there. Big man, what you doing back there? I paid for this? I thought you was a comedian. Where's your comedian? You need to be telling jokes. Why are you talking with me? Because they, get why? They not funny. The folk laughing are laughing because they ain't get picked. This is how sad, this is how sad of a people these people are. How you make your whole show about me? Nigga, tell her funny. All the other folks laugh because they're so glad. Thank God he ain't picked me. That's how sad we are at people. You go here to pay somebody to run you down. Talk, hey, man, that's your life. I ain't, I ain't, that, that. Hey, man, nigga, put a lot on dude, but hey, man, you hitting that, man? You gay? Why am I asking me about Are you serious? I'm putting a show at that man. Is he hitting that? Is he gay? And, I, and we pay, everybody get them walk out. This nigga ain't fun. This nigga retarded. This ain't no good. You might, anything might make you shut this show down to him. Yeah. But I get bullets ringing out of him. That's great. That's it. Come on. That's it. Tell me some joke. That back year folk were funny. Because these guys not funny. And it's sad that people see there's no real humor in it. You go in here with these people to just tear you down. And then you're trying to laugh it off because you embarrassed. How many of y'all have been in the comedy show and been called out in them? Or seen people get called out? You, you actually think them people just laugh? Them people were hurt. Can't believe you think somebody come here and play. Man, I'm going, I'm trying to get to the front so he can run me and you down. And ask me, am I gay? Ask me, am I hitting that? Are you serious? What's wrong with that? Tells you what's wrong with the mind of people. They fight words on the street, but people are hurting so bad. Look what they call in comedy. These guys are bums. They're not funny, they're just low class bums. They ain't got a joke. All they do is make you the joke. And the sad part, our people don't even have a mind to realize we hurt so bad, man. We looking for anything to call it humor. We looking to be a part of anything. Just like fraternity, how you join them? You fill out the application, you go in here and you talk to somebody, and they meet with you. They say, well, what kind of goals and ambitions you have? You plan on at a college? Are you plan on um, trying to get in? You trying to go into uh, electronic or going in? You know what I'm saying? Computer? You trying to do science? What are you trying to do? No, get you, nigga, bring in. And I gotta beat you. 
Honestly, tell the truth. What did that say about us? In order to be a part of something, I'll let you beat me. I'll physically let you beat me, manipulate me out my money, play me for dudes to get me, then i pass the cycle on to somebody else. Yeah, Being honest, what did that say? Because people are hurting so bad. We just want to be a part. They think about it. But think about what I'm going to be when I get through. You know what they learn later on when they get in it? One nothing but a con. Yep. You remember every time? Whole thing. You, what you learn? Nothing but a con. They play you because you're thinking, I'm going to be a part of something. These going to be my brothers. These niggas ain't nothing to you. You might get one or two of them might be all right. And they ain't going to help you so much. You can't, man, you know, brother, you know, try and get a nigga, you know, try and get a job. And they say, yeah, we ain't hiring. Because they know you're going to get a hand, F up something and take them out. It look good on the surface. We try to join stuff and get stuff, brotherhood, there is none. Until a person is good with themselves, you can't help nobody else. All you're going to do is hurt people you're trying to help. That's why I can help people. I told y'all, this is something I do. They mean, I check Tony Smell. I do. I check Tony Smell. You, you good with yourself? Most people don't want to do that. You'll check yourself kind of on the surface. I, I, I'm really concerned about Tony Smell. I don't want to be right in my own eyes. I don't want you to be good by my own judgment, my own stat. If I judge myself, I'm going to be tall than what I'm supposed to be. I'm probably about 6'5". That's because I ain't going to want to really see how tall I am. When I say it, I'm just saying it as a way. A lot of times, people don't really want to know the truth about themselves. Truth about us hurt us, and then you got to make changes. You got to move away, and the, the fear is, how do I get from being that person? That's why I really hard the, the writing, because when I look at it, I got to do just like he said, mirror it. Mirror to the point, really watch yourself and how you're going with it. Because we all trying to get somewhere at the end of the day. How you going to get there unless you're going to be honest with yourself? Constantly making it, like, see how I put the words away? What it took a process, your heart can say, oh, let me tell you something. If, if, if you can't make changes and you can't move and you can't transition, you can't be saved. That's everybody. Anything you're doing, you know what I'm saying? It, it quit talk, I ain't got nothing to do with no turkey. That got something to do with the letter and the command. Right. See, a lot of stuff we can do, and you come and say, well, it's just really not conducive what I need to really get people to do. That's all. I need people to see something different. And I know a lot of people watch me because they look at them different. I'm more real to them. A lot of people say, I like it. He real. He honest on it. I'm honest to an end of looking at I'm honest about myself. I want you to be honest about you. I want you to feel good about what you're doing. When you come, you do something. You want to know why you're doing You don't want to just come and call People counting on me or uh, uh, come because I don't want nobody thinking I quit. It ain't about what people think. What do you think? How do you look at yourself? How much obli your, your first obligation is to you and him. My first obligation is me and him. Y'all got it? That's how I can do what I do with you guys. You got to make yourself all things to all men. I got to be good with me. I can't avail myself of you guys if I'm not good with myself. I can't, I can't help you if I can't help myself. He even told you in the fourth chapter of the book of uh, Oriol, they call Lou. He said, they're going to tell the physician, heal thyself. I was sent sick. Sick, incurable. Didn't know how to stop it. Didn't know how to do it. Then you had to really sit down and start judgment. You got to consider. When you commit Qatar, you're in violation. That violation puts you at one point. What is it? Move. Death. Do you want to die? How many of y'all here want to die? Want to die. You, can y'all hear me? How many of y'all here want to die? Want to die. People at home, want, how many of y'all want to die? Why? Tell me why. Somebody tell me why. Several of them. I don't matter them who. Why you don't want to die? Because you wouldn't be living. You wouldn't be living. That's a good answer. <laughs> what about who else? The unknown. The unknown. I'm with who else? Anybody else? What is it? Good answer. He said, eh, that's one too. He's like, I don't want to know what to say. That's right. Anybody else? Nobody else don't know why they won't want to die? Why? Fear? That's a good one. Anybody else? Don't be afraid. Yeah, what is it? Scared of dying wrong. Scared of dying wrong. I agree with that. Anybody else? Ray? Ray was talking in tongues. Let it out, Ray. You say you think everyone had the same thing? Put your name on the board. You, ain't, you, know, you, you can't speak for everybody. Where you get that from? Where you get out thinking he's going to speak? To, well, I'm going to speak for everybody in here. You speak for yourself. Hey, where you get out going to call this? They're going to speak for Where you think he at? Church? What about out there? Anybody? What is it? What is it? Uh, not going to wake up. 
That's right. Anybody else? Ray, what is he going to say? Two checks. <laughs> That's for asking. You know a check, God. You know you're going to mess up again. How many of y'all think Ray ain't going to never mess up again? All right. Who else? Go put a check. Go put your name in the book. <laughs> you going there. Anybody else? Nobody else got no reason why? So is there, who in here good with dying then? Who good with come take me right now? Or in the immediate? No, that's that. Because we got pressing issues. We all got pressing issues. So, well, some of us, we got some stuff we need to get straight. We got some stuff we need to do. We just don't want to do it. But then look at behavior. Look at behavior practices. Behavior practices are committing katal. Katah said different. To everyone that didn't raise their hand and said they want to die, yet behavior says you do. Include me. Behavior says we do. Because you want to make the adjustments. See, you think about the fear that they had was of them just dying. Their fear of the fathers, of the first fathers, wasn't go to Sheol. Their fear was the dying, being cut off from. And that's what he used to get us, because that's what we know, really. We don't know about being somewhere forever. You do something, you be doing something. I could be here forever, but then, you know, it wind up in and you got to go back to work. You can do, man, I could do this forever. Then they tired you to do something else, so you really don't have the mind. He just knew when you die, people understood when they died, they were just cut off and that was it. They were no more alone among the living, okay? And this started because man committed Qatar. Well, now he found that man had found this state happening. You would think it would drive man and say, guess what? How about if we stop committing it so we don't die? Man hadn't evolved to that yet. But all the creation man done came up with from the rock, from the stone age, from the, from the bronze age, from the iron age first, the bronze age, man come out the dog ages, all the stuff man done evolved to and where he's at today, he still ain't came up with yet. If he's afraid of dying, that's why he made the bomb, because he don't want to die. He want to kill somebody before they can kill him. That's why he got a gun. Somebody breaking my house, what can they do? What can they do? They could kill me. So I got a gun so I can to keep them from killing me because I don't want to die. See, that? why y'all think people got so many guns? They said, man, that guy a, a gun lover. He's not a gun lover. He don't want to die. So he buys all this gun or she. So if somebody try to kill me, I'm going to kill him so I don't die. He don't realize he's still going to die. He hadn't sat down yet and got the brain of a mosquito to sit down and realize you're going to die because of behaviors. The guns, the knives, the protection, and everything you use won't be enough to keep you from that man coming to visit you. And that's why he allowed all these people to die in our faces with guns or whatever they might have or in the safety of their home. Some people won't even go outside because they say, you know what, the world is so crazy, I just stay at home. You can order your food online, you can get other stuff you need done, and you can pretty much do everything for your computer, never leave your house, and he let them die too. Because man been trying to find a way to get around him. Versus, now he said, get, now you're still going to die. But let's stop a more imminent pressing issue when the judgment comes. That urine are open. That urine are open. No, ain't no number two here. Get a bag. We ain't got no twos and threes around him. <laughs> ain't number ones. <laughs> we number one. Now go ahead. <laughs> we number one. <laughs> You know, but no, so this, this is what we're trying to look at and trying to consider what we need to do differently because nobody raised their hand and said they're okay with death, they're okay with dying now. But what does our behavior say? What does our servitude say? Does your servitude say? Does the service, think about this, does the service you give say, I don't want to die. I'm afraid of dying. I have a fear of dying. That's where we at. That, so you know what he looks at? Then you're not afraid. The story, the hopes we give, is one would just be cut off from this. That's what the average of us, one would be cut off from this. Because if it was him, this wouldn't be your importance. You could break it. You could serve these ties of this ain't here. The truth of the matter of for all of us, our biggest fear is being cut off from this. Somebody's going to have my car, my house, ain't going to be see my kid, my mom, or whatever it's going to be. It's not him, because if it's him, then we start having a behavior that's conducive to life. 
Y'all got what I'm saying? That's the purpose of him giving us the debar, the word. I'm trying to get you to do things conducive. You can't avoid the death that you're saying that you're afraid of. You can't avoid it. Me, you, we can't avoid it. You can only avoid the second death. So now he wants to consider something. I get this so I can get y'all finished. Come on, listen. This is 14, 12 of the book of um, Marshall Lee. They call Proverbs. Listen, we're on this side. This is the Greek, Latin, English, all transfigured. Listen. There is a, there is a Dirac which seems to be Sadiq with Anashim. But the ends of it reach to the depths of Sheol. Mm -hmm. So he put hell to this Greeks. Let's see what else he tells us. Greek, grief mingles not with mirth. Yeah, I said, and? Shusha in the end comes to grief. Uh-oh. Let's see. What did he say? 14. A stout lob, a stout lob shall be filled with his own darakim, mm -hmm. and a tube each with his own thoughts. Let's see what, let's see what stout is. I got to put it like how fat. Any of y'all been told y'all was stout? <laughs> now, because anybody never told you you were stout when you were growing up? Well, why you ain't raise your hand? He said, I'm just be, be honest, be innocent. I got stout. A person, oh no, somewhat a heavy built. So you talk about, well, that, well, you think about a fat and a heavy built heart. When you think about that, because you want to look at, um, let, let, let's think about that. When, when they use a stout, and I was just using that. Stout, I ain't never going to say fat. You know, I'm trying to say a heavy built person, a heavy built. But then you want to start thinking about what actually gets us to that point. Just like, how could a person become um, large, what we call fat, obese? Huh? Excessive eating. So now he's talking about a stout heart, okay? How would a person get a stout heart? Who? Hold on. Say what? I can say it loud. Cares of the rot. So with that, you got to look at the thing. I, what you said fits in that end. We're going to start looking at the thing a man going to load himself up with. Say that 13 and 15, I think, of the book of Matthew. Might be 15, 17. Let's see. 13, 15. I know he's talking about leave, let them alone. Let me say. Matthew. 13, 15, but I think it reads down. Should have told me I let them alone. They be blind. They ain't what I wanted. I'm talking about out of the abundance. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's 13, 15. It's 13, 15? Mm mm. They ain't what I want. So it must be 15, 17? So what now? Mm hmm. 15, 17, that's what I want. 15, 17, other, uh, that's it. Is this 15, 15? No, I want 15. Yeah, 15, you said 15, 14, okay. 17, I think what I want. We'll start up, that's fine. You said 15, 14? This is a 14 chapter? 15 chapter? All right, let's see, listen. Let them alone. Let them alone. They are blind, and yeah. leaders of the blind. Mm -hmm. And if the blind lead the blind, Tell what happened. both will fall into the pit. See that? He said both of them are going to fall into the pit, which makes sense. Listen. And Cuff answering said to him, what happened? expound to us this Marshall Lee. Okay. It's not like you're going out in the hallway and not at him. Does that mean? Doesn't it sound like he in the hallway and not at him? Okay. Go ahead. But he said, are you also yet without understanding? Okay. Let's see. Do you not understand that whatsoever entereth into the paw does what? Goes into the belly. And? Is cast out in the pri privy. Where's he going to turn the drop comes out in it? That's true. Whatever. Think about this. And he's telling you now this systematically, this is something they wouldn't know. <laughs> they know whatever they messed out. You had to eat it, right? <laughs> How's it how did it come out? You're woo, where that come? Now, for them, put them woo, where that come from? That, it came out your behind. So where you think it came from? Came where went where? In your mouth. Right? And that combustible gas came out. It came out in the drought. It came out in the end, right? So now we're going to start looking at some other things he want to put together. Listen. But the things which proceed out of the paw uh -oh. come forth from the lob. See that? Uh-oh. Like what? And those things defiling each. Like what? For from the lob come forth 
Rosha thoughts, uh -oh. murders, mm -hmm. adulteries, mm -hmm. fornications, mm -hmm. thefts, mm -hmm. false testimonies, yeah. blasphemies. Mm -hmm. These are the things that defile a niche. You see that? That's what makes his heart stout. We start talking about a stout heart. Think about it. Where it come from? People say, you know what? I, I, I don't apologize. I can't believe I said that earlier. I don't know where that came from. I don't know where that came from. But don't we say that customarily? I want to apologize something I said the other day. I don't know where I got that from. Are we <laughs> honest? Nope. We might feel guilty about the act, but let's just be honest. It came from the law. Yes, sir. Whether here or here. See, once we start being honest with ourselves, we start to do more correct dimensions. You start being more mindful of the things that proceed out from it. Because he said, these are the things that put you into being stout-hearted. Because you allowed yourself to become full of all these other things. Really, you, you, you got to learn how to, um, you got to learn how to have things and almost possess nothing. Um, I have a lot of things, but my love ain't with the things I have to, I feel like it's mine. They loan. I, I learned how to tell them and tell them, I appreciate the loan. It's kind of like with uh, Shemwal when he came and he asked Yahuwah to grant um, Shemwal's mother, uh, Ali, Ali, who they call Eli, he told, he asked Yahuwah to Baraka his aim for the, for the loan because she had given Shemwal to him for the service of the Beth Alahim. And he asked Yahuwah to grant her another one for the loan because it was just a temporary time. He just gave to him. That's what we rely on one another, whether it's uh, wife and husband, whether it's kids, whatever we got, everything we got along. Your cars, your house, your clothes, the, the talking, your eyes, your movement, and your hand. It's long. As you get older, you appreciate it. But I just want to old folks say, you, you don't move it fast, you used to move. You start recognizing things, but you realize, I remember time, this wasn't in my, it wasn't in my vocabulary. This wasn't a thought. You don't think about pain. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> You're like, I, I don't ever remember being young. I'm sure I had pains, but it was so infrequent to where it almost seemed like I grew up from a child to now and I just got pains because they start to come more frequent because it puts a person with your age to consider. Just like with all of us, he puts you in a situation that every one of us in, it helps you consider, believe it or not. A lot of us, if he changed our situation any other way to another way, you wouldn't be him. I had somebody tell me they felt like that they had been just constantly being targeted and being hit. They say, weren't even doing nothing. Just tell you about this. I'm not even doing it just... Things just constantly keep happening, just keep happening. It's like, why? I said, well, did you ever consider that things are happening to you? You haven't been doing nothing to make you consider. And the person said, he said, it made me don't want to do nothing wrong. Come look at how so I said, you ever thought about that might be why you're doing it? Because you're looking at it now, you're going through it, you ain't doing nothing. How much harder it going to be if you did? See, with Yahuwah, this is the thing. Before you come up to, to, to doubt him or disbelieve his works, Consider, he knows what's best. And, and at first, until you get experience with him constantly going through things and getting the outcome, you won't see it. Because I've been, when I was young, I didn't. That stuff, I didn't want to hear no stuff like nobody else said, baby, just wait on him. You'll see as you get older. I'll be honest, I tuned you out because I really don't want to hear nothing like that. But no, see when I get older, I need to understand right now why he's doing right now, right now. I need to know this now. I don't need to be dealing with you on consider. He's making, he really is. That's something I never really understood. Then it take time. People want to be somewhere fast. You can't get there fast. It's a mature state. How fast, I mean, how long you been in the stuff you come out of? Why do we think you jump right into perfection with him? You got to work all this stuff out. These are behaviors you had for a lifetime. You had almost a lifetime of. And you thinking you just, even though you just gave it up, you still got to work it out. You got to work it out your conversation. You got to work it out your peripheral. You know what I'm saying? Some of them know how to look at Buddha out of peripheral. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get from Buddha peripheral. So it's just so many things we learn to carve into things and be manipulative. A lot of us have a lot of manipulative states of doing things. So you got to work all that out. And it's a lot of word. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of things you got to let happen to challenge you, to get you to saying, you know what? It ain't worth it. It is. You start adding and doing the math, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Somebody tell hey, piece of half chew bubble gum, seventy-five thousand dollars. What you think? Why? You think about a um, piece of motor bread, four hundred fifty thousand dollars. How many y'all think about it? Why y'all want to think about it? Burning for the rest of your life because of behavior you're doing contrary to your whole word. 
it made most sense to buy that $75,000 piece of bubble gum and that $450,000 piece of bread than to do the cross that man and burn for the rest of your life. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. And you don't get that mindset, you ain't going to make it. That's just being honest, because for a lot of us, we don't consider it that way. We keep considering that I'm not as bad as other people. I'm not to the point of other people. It ain't about judging about where nobody else at. It's about you making sure you really where this man looking for you to be at. The people this man actually established for this, you guys have got the first, you got through the first level of it. It's just like you go through certain levels of testing. You got through the first, you made the commitment to break, and you made the commitment to come and sit. But you got him, and some of you just got to a point where, Certain things just ain't important as you thought they were. Certain things you just look at, you know, I'm him, but I'm just him, you know, whatever. I don't believe I'm going to be saved. And these are dangerous places to be in. I'm talking about not sitting here, but it's a dangerous place to be in, in your life because you really need understanding on why you're doing what you're doing. Do y'all understand? This man meticulously put things together that you have no idea how he worked. Listen, just because he don't want people to see. Let me show y'all something. Just show y'all something. Give me the 15th chapter right quick of the book of... Um, Borrow sheet. Let's show y'all something. I'm trying to let y'all go. You who are willing? Or that one of them honest one I was talking about. Probably give me four. This will be quick. It shouldn't take long. And you tell me how you understand it. You read it. 15 chapter, probably about verse 4. Listen. And immediately there was a call of Yahuwah to him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, for he that shall come out of thee shall be thine heir. And he brought him out and said to him, Look up now to Shamayim and count the Kukabim, and thou shalt be able to number them fully. And he said, Thus shall thy seed be. <coughs> and Ab and Abram Amon Allahim, and it was counted to him for Sadiq. Mm -hmm. And he said to him, I am Allahim that brought thee out of the Arats of the Chaldeans, so as to give thee this Arats to inherit. Mm -hmm. And he said, Adon Yahuwah, how shall I know that I shall inherit it? <coughs> and he said to him, Take for me an heifer in, th in her third Shana, and a she goat in her third Shana, and a ram in his third Shana, and a dove and a pigeon. So mm -hmm. he took to him all these and divided them in the midst. Pay attention what he did. And Listen. set them opposite to each other. Hmm. But the birds he did not divide. Explain to me this. Your understanding that he divided them and put them opposite to one another. What do you think he did? It's tight. That's tight. Listen to this. The white got it. Tell him, Dwight. Y'all saw that old mahog up? Tell him what happened. Yes, cut him in half. Now, what you said would make sense what he did. I want you to tell me what he really tried to get you to say. And I'm going to show it to you. How about that? I'm going to show you what you couldn't say. Huh? What you said, he did that. Abraham took them and did exactly what he said. He divided them one against the other, and they were opposite. That's exactly what he did. I'm going to show you what his intent was. I know you couldn't know it. Now, you go ahead and you think about it. What did he do? Because I told you, Yahushua was that dove. Now, I want you to tell me how that worked. Then he divided them. Because Abraham did exactly what you just said he did. He took them and he cut them in half. Anybody disagree with that? What do I understand what he had? What would Abraham have looked at and said, this is actually spiritual. This ain't that you want me to do natural. Would you agree that Abraham saw naturally to do what he just told him to do? Or does anybody think he saw spiritually and they were called Ruach men? Hello? I 100% agree with you. That was natural. There's no reason for him. He clearly gave him order. When he told him the number, the kukabine, what did Abraham say? I ain't got to do it. This spiritual. What did he do? He started counting. You know why he counted? What else would he have done? 
Well, that's what I understood. You told me to count them, and what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep them right here, Lord, because I know this spiritual. I'm going to hold off on it because he's getting ready to do a new thing. No, he's doing exactly what he told you to do. Count them. And he counted them, and it was counted to him, wasn't it? It added up for him for Sadiq. You count, I'm going to add it up for you, and it's going to be right. Got it? He just told him to take them, not the pigeon, not the dove. I want you to cut them. I want you to divide them. And I want them opposite to each other. Now, you tell me how you put that together with Yahushua on that toot with them two things. You know y'all got a problem, right? You got a problem, don't you? Because first of all, you got to say they were put together. You can't say that. Now, he still got to do it now, and it's got to be right. That's your problem. You got to give it to him, and it got to be right. Appreciate it. Thank y'all. Let me show you how it work. Matthew Yahoo. Chapter 27. Eh, 38 be good. Show you how it worked right quick. Don't take that long. Listen. Then, there, then were crucified with him two thieves. Hold oh, back me up there. Go ahead and give me 36. I don't think I'm doing nothing. Listen. Y'all done a lot of thinking, huh? I wish you all wouldn't worry my little head about it. How about that? Come on, listen. And they sat and watched him. And they sat and watched him. And they put over his head his calls written, This is Yahushua, the Malak of the Yaudim. Mm -hmm. Then were crucified with him Who? two thieves. Two thieves. One on the right hand and one on the left. Oh, my goodness. Because they were supposed to be opposite one another. Listen. And they that passed by blasphemed him, wagging their heads, mm -hmm. and saying, Thou that destroyest the Mashakan of Elohim, and in three Yamim dost rebuild it, save thy own self. If thou be the Ben of Elohim, come down from the toot. In like manner also the Rosh Kohanim with the scribes and the Zakanim mocking said, He saved others, himself he cannot save. I hear what he said. Listen. If he be the Malak of Yasharal, let him now come down from the toot, and we will among him. Hmm, listen. He trusted in Allahim. What happened? Let him now deliver him if he will have him. What happened? For he said, I am the Ben of Allahim. What happened? And the self same thing, the thieves also that were crucified with him reproached with him. Mm, that's tight. Say that to 20. The 21st, 22nd, 23rd. See if it's the 23rd chapter book of Oreo. Let me see about 40. Let me see. Listen. Oreo, they call Luke. Listen. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Neither dost thou, Yara Elohim, seeing thou art condemned under the same condemnation. What verse are there? 40. 40. You take me 30. 38. <clears throat> or y'all. Thirty eight. Listen. And there was a there, and there was also a superscription katab over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Abri. Mm. Come on. This is the Malak of the Yahudim. Mm -hmm. And one of those robbers who were hanged blasphemed him, saying, If thou be Mashiach, save thyself and us. Mm -hmm. But the other answering re rebuked him, saying, Neither dost thou, Yahweh Elohim, seeing thou art condemned under the same condemnation. Mm -hmm. And we indeed, Sadak, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this each had done no Roshan. Y'all hear that? One in ten. First Corinthians. <laughs> Pay attention. Because it still got to be right. Listen. 
Now I beseech you, Akeem. Who? Who? Akeem. What is Akeem? Brother. Brother? Brethren. Brother. What happened? By the Shem of our Adon, Yahushua HaMashiach. For what? That you all speak the same thing. In the book of Matthew, Yahu, the 27, it said the thieves blasphemed him. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Now you kind of are you the 23rd. He just came and told you one of them did it. Listen what happened. What do it, you do? That you all speak the same thing. For what reason? And that there be no schisms among you. Which will be a divide between the two. <clears throat> That's how he was able to get it and you'd have never caught it. Remember, he was supposed to divide them and put them one against the other. The, who did the thieves they got through arguing with, Yahushua or the other thief? That's how he divided them. Because it's got to be right. See, he only gives you so much intelligence. You need to believe. See, he didn't have to do that. See, spiritually, there was a divide with them. No, it's just like he told them. I need you to divide them and put them opposite each other. Because they were both in agreement at first. And once, hold on for a minute. You don't even feel all of him. We him being condemned for what we did wrong. Why was he arguing with him and not talking to Yahushua? Because that's not what he told Abraham. He told him to divide them and put them one against the other. Don't worry about it. You just believe because I ain't got to understand it. That's how you're not going to be saved. See, what I appreciate the fact, though, a lot of studying for how to do, I don't have to do it, okay? You just take your time and do what the man tell you to do. The man will show you everything he said is right. Yahushua bear every trait that he told him. When he told him to take for him that bullock, he did it. That's why they put the red, that's why they put the scarlet robe on him. Yahukanan told you, behold the lamb of Elohim, because he told him to take one. And the ram, that's why they put the crown of thorns in the head, caught in the thickets. But you had to be, you had to have enough understanding when you watched it. That's why Zachariah, which is Y'all had to remember. You need to know it. How you going to remember when you don't know it? See, the way he done set up for us, it's not for everybody. You guys don't realize what he had prepared for. He told you, because your eye can see it. You know what I'm saying? It had him in in your heart, the thing all he had prepared for them that are harvest. See, but you ain't going to believe it. But he has kazooned it to us. He revealed it to us. You know how many people are wrestling with the 15th chapter? They're trying to make up something. I don't have to make up nothing. Were those two guys just not against one another? And if you speak the same thing, what's supposed to happen? And what these two guys were doing? They was against each other. Cause that's what he, see, they were just looking at them turn. He tried to show you in conversation. See, when you're going through here, you have to take your time. Because you will run and think you see something. You take your time. This man worried, right? It makes sense. Everything, he just showed you clear. Somebody will go get a knife and cut them two guys in half. And that's, how, that's just how backwards you'll be. That's how much understanding you got to have when you're dealing with that man's word. But you, if you got, see, that's why I tell you, I don't get myself caught with a whole lot of stuff. I can be pissed by something, I had to move away from it. You know why I tell you why? I become ineffective. I have a job to do. See, you got what y'all do. You will recklessly stay your path, and you will recklessly destroy everything. That's why I can't use you. You got to be able to put stuff aside and be done with it. Some stuff you just can't afford to. I told y'all what hating folk done. Man, I ain't got that kind of time. That's too much energy I got to give you. I just don't have that kind of time no more. We at a point right y'all, we'd be out of here in any second. It's nothing to ride down that street and you cross the line. Don't worry about nobody else. You could be the line crosser. Instead of you getting killed, you could wind up killing somebody. Your whole life unravel. It ain't just, I could die, I could die. He could put you in a situation where you're in misery till you die. So you had to, die. I know everybody mind on, Oh, I can leave him a minute. Why about you can stay here and I can just make you just suffer it out. I can keep here to suffer. I can put you here and put all my indignation, all my anger on you. Guys, you, y'all just don't realize how important it is we have got to clean up so much of our mess. Because it ain't just about you dying. It's about you suffering for you leave him. If people, he ordained, he Mashiach, no, then let you sit here and just suffer till you die. And some people, it just, he put them to that way. And you know what? That's the vibe. That's the energy they got. 
That's the life they chose. And you know what? And you got to figure, I know y'all look at people, there's some unfortunate people. And I guarantee you, if you're doing what Yahuwah said, he going to fix it for you. Don't let nobody make no fool out of y'all. No, and he let you see some of these people in these situations. You know why he let you see them? So you can consider for all your mumbling and grumbling, for all your complaining and what you ain't got, he let you see somebody way further worse than you and make you realize, I need to shut my mouth. I need to quit complaining. That's a whole lot of people way worse than I am. Y'all setting to play well. Y'all being kept. Y'all being kept. Man, I, I, man I, I'm telling you, I served them plays. I served the play I thought a pretty good play. They'll feed you once, maybe even twice. I guarantee the third time they're done with you. We're not doing it no three times. That's it. You're done. He just see fit to put you to where things just happen to work. Even though they might get tight on you, ain't what you want. You still wind up coming out. Whole lot better than you'd have done on your own. And try to get you to consider well, cause you know, the thing I appreciate with him, it ain't always you gotta have. All of him will fix it where some other have, that'd be for you. you know, let me tell you something, man. You who will fix it where somebody people don't even know why they have. You think I got because I for me. He said, I got you having. I fit it for somebody else. Get what he said. Just hypothetically use your Justin. He just said, you know what? I'm mad with Justin. I'm a punish Justin but I don't want to totally kill him out. I'm going to make him suffer some stuff. But I'm going to fix it where somebody, I can't give him what he needs. Just say you say, I, I really need some money. I really need, you don't have it. He'll fix it the well. I got somebody as I touch their law to give it to you. In my chastisement of you now, I still fix it well. You ain't going to be without. You know what? It's some folk now. He fixed himself against them. Can I borrow some? I ain't even lying. I ain't got nothing. Do you get some? He'll fix it. He got other folks he fixed well. Nobody can give you nothing. Can't nothing happen. If you get it, you'll lose it. You know, he got people when he fixed himself against them. There's nobody can help you. There's nobody can bail you out. There ain't a prayer for you. There's nothing for you. And I tell y'all, that's why you better consider them. That's why you better consider them. And one thing, you going through and you getting help. You ain't going through. That's one of them folks that are going through ain't no help. That's when you're going through. You know what I'm saying? Man, I ain't got nothing going through. I got something. What you need? You going through? There's some folk going through. I've been with you, man. I be, I'm about ready to start robbing nigga myself. I ain't got nothing. I can't help you. It's, it's a small thing y'all don't think about. That man keeping us. In the midst of this stuff, COVID came through him. Still kept us. Folk don't care. You who have been keeping up. Y'all just don't consider. You, you a mumbling grum about what you ain't got. You listen, you way more for it. And a lot of y'all don't have, because you ain't open your mouth to say now. You ain't got cause you it ain't you ain't got cause your hood done fixed itself against you and ain't been no way some of you'll pick your own suffering. I'm just gonna suffer it out. Not me. I ain't gonna suffer and I ain't gotta suffer. Cause ain't gonna be something I gotta suffer I can't get out of. Let me suffer that. I ain't gonna suffer. I need something to eat. I'm not finna suffer that. Why don't y'all niggas give me some money? I mean it with every good letter love nigga too in it. One of y'all niggas give me some money, I'm hungry. I'm not finna sit here and say how long I can be hungry to be. That's crazy. You got the meat. Let me get something to eat. I need to get something to eat. I, I'm not finna sit here and say, well, I don't want to say now. I ain't want to bother nobody. This bothered me growling. I need this thing to start growling so I can think on. I don't like that. They ain't that shouting stuff, huh? It's the truth. The hood been keeping you. All everyone, including he been keeping us. But you know, and you know what? We 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 had we hadn't run it back to him for all the two worst he done done. We've been so embodied in ourselves and so many things we want to try to do. We forget how many times you really need to consider and then teach these kids the same thing. They need to teach them. Palau with them, get them. I mean, not just let them know why. Listen, when we came out Mizraim, he told them to go over it with their benign, their children, because they were going to need to know why we were doing all those references to him. And it was because they need to know why. We can't just bring them and say, where they kid? Let them live their life. Their life ain't there. Their life in the hands of one man. This man will say, he'll take the breath out of baby mouth. You can't afford for a child to wait. You need your child to grow up and get rusty like you for their time. We ain't got that kind of time. We can't afford to let them get old. Well, let them live their life, and then when they get older, then they get, you lose them. You got to start, listen, you start them young. That's right. You start them young. That's all we know. We got to start you young and keep letting you know why. This is why we're doing this. 
This is why we're doing it, because Yah has remembered us. It, it because of the bereft that he showered. This man gave something to Abraham that still exists in the day, although all these other things that happen, even to this hour, he have not taken away the bereft he done, that he showered. That's the only reason we're here. He would cut us off if it weren't for his oath that he, that he showered to him. He would cut us off. The letter know just how significant and how important it was. He said, if I give you my word, I'll never take that back. That's what he got. He never took it back. You know what the book said? All of him so a harp to rot. He ain't going to believe it. He ain't going to believe it. And he can't take it back. Unlike you. You'll take your back. You'll give me something, get mad. Any one of us. You'll get pissed and say, let me get that. He's saying, what you doing? Because you'll get mad. You know what he said? I wouldn't do it to you. He said, because I gave my word when I gave it to you. When I told you I gave him to you, I never took him back from you. I let you have him. He's still been making intercession for it. That's the kind of all he, how many of y'all got mad that took something back you gave somebody? You know what he can say? I didn't. I let you have him. I told you I gave it to him for you. I let you have him. I let you have him. You might say he ain't here no more. He where he can do our best work. He in the inner sanction. He making intercession. That's not when he not in your prayer. He had to go stand in the presence of Allah to make intercession. We couldn't do it. We couldn't do it. We needed somebody who could go in the inner sanction that could make intercession for us. We couldn't do it. We couldn't go in there. When a, when a, when a, when a judge tell the two attorneys, say, both of y'all in my chamber, the, can the plaintiff and defender come back down? You need your attorney to be making intercession. You know? Whatever the judge is saying, be speaking up for me. Talk up. And be, he, listen, he done got that man in his chamber. This man in here making intercession, plead with that man not to kill you and me, not to cut us off. That man have killed us anyway. He have killed us anyway. I don't know why you who had me go their way, but we, we, we all know. We, 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 I, I've been guilty. I've been guilty. I learned to quit mumming and grumbling about stuff. Just let things work. He said, let, he said, let patience just have a perfect work. Just let it have it work. Because what are he doing? Listen, if we do what we're supposed to do, it got to work out. That be, ain't, it, listen, it don't matter how it goes. It got to work out. But you got to have, if you, listen, if you, if you don't mind it, don't look to receive nothing from it. You got to believe it. And that's only my, my, my aspirations for what I'm among him to do, as we say believe him to do, is only because of experience. I've seen this man come through time and time again. That's only increased my armor now to have the confidence to realize Tony Old Tom would unravel. Old Tom would have been complaining to him about it. The new one I got now, the new man he made me from the experience I got with him and the time test approval, I can wait a while. I can wait. I can wait. Because he, he really, he having his work. I'm t anybody here going through, and you don't know why you're going through, just wait. I guarantee you, he ain't never took you through nothing for nothing. He ain't like nobody else. You know somebody, oh, now I'm just messing with you. I'm just bull blanking you, man. He, they ain't him. He ain't ne he'll never bull blank you. I'm just being that. He ain't going to do it. Oh, we'll do that. He ain't going to do it. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna, let me, let me, no, 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 give me, no, your leg, sit down, sit down, sit down. Yeah, I'm just pulling your leg. <laughs> that ain't your whore. That's not him. He ain't pulling your leg. Whatever he's doing, he's trying to get you to tell me. Whatever he's doing in your life, he's just trying to get you to tell me. And you might think, well, we could have did it a different way. He, it's, it's things about us that he know events he has to let happen all our life so you can see for yourself where you at. Yeah, it's certain stuff you can go into. It's certain stuff he rely. I gotta go their way to get that fix it. They want me to fix it. I gotta go their way. Y'all got it. Sometimes that's how it is. He said, I gotta, I gotta go this way. In order to fix it, to get you to where I need you to be, I gotta go. This, it had to go that way. And I pre. And then you gotta have that type of confidence. What a, you gotta have that type of confidence. If you don't have a confidence in him, he can't work it. I'm telling you, I ain't gonna do. I ain't finna let no doctor be trying to work on me. I don't believe him. I ain't gonna do it. I forget. I ain't gonna take it. I'm gonna throw that jump right in the trash because I don't believe in you. Come on, I'm gonna try. I don't know. I don't want you to try me because I don't believe in you. I'm being at it. Already I'm doing it. You gotta, if you don't know money, it ain't gonna work. Because you're not gonna give, you're not gonna get a full of everything he's telling you to do. Everything he do, it come with a completion. You gotta do this for a period of time. Okay. All right. Already he got you to suffer in your flesh so you can stop sinning. 
People don't even realize why. That's why he said you got to suffer in it. That's why he said you got to, can you imagine that? You got to suffer in it so you'll stop doing it. Let me tell you suffer in it. Um, let me ask you, I ain't going to do it. But hypothetically, every time you did something wrong and you, know, and you got slapped hard with it. I'm talking about slapped hard. But how many times you going to keep doing that? Why you ain't going to do it no more? That's what he do. See, that's what he understands. And that's the thing we have another. He said he ain't going to do it. He said because I'm tired of getting slapped. He's he going to suffer for it. That's how he work. I'm going to make you suffer every time you do it. He says that's how I'm going to get you to stop. Damn, I mean, why he just couldn't just tell me not to do it? I did tell you not to do it, but you wouldn't stop. So when I make you suffer for long periods of time for doing it, get what you say? I don't do that no more. See what I'm saying? That, don't it make sense? Now I understand it. I said, man, they said, man, man, I suffer so. Uh, uh, don't, don't worry about it. They're like, why you want? He told you, when I make you suffer in the flesh, you'll stop doing it. When, I, when you get through and you feel like, man, this stuff look like it don't have a remedy, it don't like an end to it, can I can afford to do that again when I ain't think, I ain't know when we're going to stop, it like it wasn't going to never end, and it finally stop, I'm good. That's why I won't leave. Y'all, it worked for me. I ain't going back. Listen, I don't even, listen, there ain't no conversation. Listen, say had a conversation, conversation, go on, walk out, we're not having that conversation. I don't suffer too long. Mm -mm. He got to use something else. He got to use something else. When you don't suffer, it, but when you don't see an end, and your end is in a grave, and you see burning, how many times you go back and do that? All I see is the end death and burning. What, what, what made me say, go, go on, yeah, shoot, man, I got to try this again. And get what he said. He that is suffering in the flesh has ceased. Why do you think he got you suffering? When he get through wearing your head and beating your head in, get what you realize. You want some more? He's <laughs> like, no, I'm good. Ain't that right? Be like that letter. Anybody got a letter read? <laughs> ain't got no letter. That, that, it was too much misery. The dog got the worms. Your sister Jenny dead. A storm can't kill your mama and your daddy. So that letter was right. Most stuff was just happening. <laughs> He's a different letter. You're like, everybody look at, I don't even want to read no letter. That the, oh, mm, we good. Everybody, they had letter. That's a, it's just too much, it's too much heartache. Do y'all understand where your mind need to be? To where you really program, he's making it hard on you because he wants you to stop it. That ain't him hating you. That's his harm. And people, he just cut them off. You know what I don't want to say? Man, if I could have got that. There's some folk, if I could have got The man picking up sticks on Shabbat. You, you think he had the He said, man, can, I, can you just make me suffer in the flesh so I stop? He said, no, you just die now. Are you serious? And Ed, Tony, that, and Carrie, y'all get to suffer in the flesh and learn to stop, and the man killed me for picking up sticks on Shabbat? Are you serious? I picked up sticks, and y'all guys get to suffer in the flesh? So you learn to stop? I just die. That's for you, though. That was for me and you. You know what he said? You know I'm supposed to kill you for that. You know I'm supposed to kill you for that, right? Every one of us, yeah, you know I'm supposed to kill you. You know I'm supposed to kill you, right? Y'all do know I'm supposed to kill you, right? Y'all good? You know I'm supposed to kill you that time, right? Everybody good? You know I'm supposed to kill you. Every one of y'all. Man died for picking up sticks. What you do? What you do? That, that, what a, that just gave me appreciation. For everybody who feel like you ain't nothing. How many of y'all have done something for on Shabbat? And so y'all not here now. Y'all no longer living, correct? Still living. What, what, what we're going to do with that man? Let me tell you what we're going to do with him. Yahuwah said, he said, I have recovered on whom I will, and I heart myself against whom I will. And think about this. You, don't never, you never got a fair chance. How many of y'all have raised hand? You never got a fair chance. Stuff never worked out for you. You never really got what you want. How many, where we at? Where we at? I should have killed you that Shabbat you broke. We all, I'm guilty. I should have killed you. I should have let everything else work out for you. And the first time you broke Shabbat, I should have killed you. 
I should have killed you dead. So, stuff ain't worked out for you? He said, all things work together for the two of them that are harm you. And a yakra. Stuff ain't worked out for you. Think about that. If all that other stuff had worked out for you, you'd have never got this. See that? All he ain't have provided some better thing for us. If them other did, if the other stuff could have worked out, the other stuff we, how many of y'all had some stuff you really wanted? Had it worked out. But what if we'd have got that and not this? What you to say when you were burning? At least this worked out for me though one time. I might be burning now, but he showed favor me and let something work out for me that time, though. And the folks in Sheol are going to be saying what? Woo, ain't you fortunate. Man, you know what? You hot. Things just be going for you, don't it? Nobody care about that in Sheol. We got to get this right. That way, put them on all of us. We got to get this right. Y'all got it? We got to get this junk out of our mouth, out of our heart. Stuff don't work out. Don't look like stop the line. That's all, that's all because we're looking at stuff from the long perspective. They got to stand. And now we learn these folks, these folks riding. These folks now who we think, he letting us get to see the inner part of these people. Just like he showed um, your cars called, son, dig through the wall. Look at what these people portraying in him. I see, they, let me tell you something. A lot of these people, these kids love. Love and adult, the athlete, the singer, perform. These folks do idol god worships. That boy, everybody trying to talk. Let me ask something. What singer done called out that boy who's sitting on their fake devil penis? What, what performer? What actors? Who done ran him down? What they call themselves? Nas West something? Who, who y'all heard come run him down on TV? Who's that? One. Probably one. And guess what? He's just about going to get ran off. Think, why y'all think the rest of them ain't talking about it? Because you know what other folks looking at? Don't knock your hustle. Come doing a little something myself. Let me tell Y'all don't realize. Man, people honestly do say this. Y'all have no idea. These people really do this stuff. I had a guy in the NFL. He told me. He said he took him to a guy house. He was getting ready to go in. He said he took him to the guy house. He said when the guy, he was like, why he was over there? That guy said, all of them, this, this is what he told me. This, he, he said the guy, he was in the NFL, he told me. He said, took him to the guy house. He said he wanted to wire with them. He said the guy said, the guy asked him for some money. He said, all of them got to come see me. He said, he said, what? He said, listen, he said, all of them had to come see me. He called me, but he was, he said, man, that man, that man asked me for some money. He was talking about some. Talk about if I was going to make it and leave, what I had to do? He said, man, I was like, what? He said, took him to the man house. The man said, listen. He said, you don't pay. He said, all of them had to come see me. Y'all be surprised. A lot of folks. Y'all be surprised. You know what? They'll never tell you. Every guy, let me tell you something. Every one of them guys not out there because of their talent. They ain't got their talent the way you're thinking. A lot of these guys got their talent because they don't sold something. Let me tell you, when you think about this, when you young, you looking at everybody going to remember me, everybody going to know me, they're not conscious. They're thinking, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to trick Satan. He gonna, and I'm going to turn around. That's how you can, I already know what, it, I know what the scheme at. I'm going to take Satan stuff and I'm going to build up God's kingdom. That's how they lose every time. And you know, they don't forget, you get old, you'll play out and say they never kept it word with nobody. That's how they get burnt. A lot of people, y'all put y'all love, they ain't every one of them. A lot of them, they can't do what they're doing without selling out. It's impossible. These got, what, what y'all think? Say, listen, you always know the son come up with all these folks. Kids. All kids. You don't know that all these folks come up with these kids? Everybody know. Kid been a sacrifice. Your book told you don't let your kid pass through the fire of the millet. That's, don't y'all know children's sacrifice has always been an option? Why do y'all think every time these folks come up with these child sex ring? They still, you don't get the president, you don't get nothing. Do you understand, president, you sit at a table with all world leaders, you decide what's going around the whole world. You think you just pop up, call somebody democratically elected you? All these world leaders came up with homosexuality right. 
All, for some reason, all of them just got on the same page with that. Because they all done sold themselves. The ones against it ain't no better. They just the riding. So they'll make you feel like they better. See, they right, because they against, they'll get child sex. They'll rape women. These folks got all kind of press, and they'll try, and where we get messed up at, I'll go with him, because he against the child set, the homosexuality, check to see what else they're doing. Like Trump, he against it. But he'll stick that thing right up in a woman's vagina and shove his tongue and rape a woman. See what I'm saying? That's the hypocrisy of them. I can, oh, that ain't no problem. Folks don't look at that. Trump, my guy, because Trump, he see, he want to tear down them elites. Trump done told you, he said, I'm tell you. He said, I walked straight up and shoved my hand right in their vagina and shoved my tongue in their mouth. I'm sure that's all he do. Because they all right. Yep. See, get y'all eyes off these people. I want y'all to start getting your eyes what we need to do. Get your eyes on the prize of salvation. Because these people are dangerous. Right. Your allegiance is to you who are first. Ain't to me, ain't to this building, ain't to the organization. If this organization, me, if anything break off from you who are, you break off from us. Y'all understand me? Don't you get yourself caught up with no stupid stuff with these people. I learned how to do business with these people. You'll never drag me in your mess. I don't play that stuff. I'm always keep my ground. Let me tell you, I like to keep it well. This how I am. My kid, my boy, I lose it. I also asked me not to come to work. He sent me a text the other day. I read. I thought he was talking to McKenna. He said, he said, strike one. He said, suspension. He said, a letter in your file. I said, what the guy do? He said, a letter in your file. He said, second warning. He said, suspension, five days without pay. I said, what in the world that man did? It was to me. <laughs> I, said, I read the thing back. I said, warning. I said, we're going to put it in my file. The second time, I'm going to be suspended for five days without pay. That was to me. I said, what did happen? But I, I, I do. I like to keep it away well. When I don't want to deal with somebody, I don't deal with them, and I let them know why. I don't want to deal with you. And you don't control nothing I got. I let them know that I tell them at that point. If I don't want to do business, I, just, I don't want to do it. I like keeping that way. I don't want to have to sell it. I don't want nobody. I don't want nobody to strong hold me and have me well. I can't be me. I got to say, ah, because you got, you got that control on me and I need you. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't like it. I just like it the way I got it. Y'all understand what I'm saying? That ain't me. You trying, because I, I got to be free to do this. I don't need nobody to pump them dough and put that thumb, thumb me down. So I keep it where I have to be free from folk to where I can do this. I don't need you being, because I got this, this, this most important thing I got in my life to do is the word. I got it? If I let somebody get me, they'll, they'll, if I, I, they'll, they'll do this to me. Because folk want me to stop. Folk know I'm affected. They know I'm talk, I talk to y'all real, openly. I don't have no script. Nobody throw me off. I tell somebody, Ray, go put another check by your name. That don't throw me off. Ray, come on, Ray. I'm in the spirit, right? I can't throw the spirit. Then put it up there. But you know I'm saying I gotta be. Cause folk, if folk let me, you know they they looking for somebody to be genuine, be true and honest. If I got weakness, fault, I can adjust. I can change whatever I gotta do to be saved. I want to keep that. I want you to see me change, so you see it's not just you. All of us gotta change. All of us gotta be realistic with ourselves. Don't want, I don't want to live no lie. I don't want to lie to myself. I honestly be polite to me. I, 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 I polite for y'all all the time. Y'all, folks, please don't end me polite for y'all. Please, please, y'all do that. Who else I'm polite? Y'all always on my heart. Always. Always. Y'all always. That's, that's without fail. Without fail. I'm always polite for y'all. I'm always. Because I know you got family. I know what family to go through. I know it's like to struggle. I know it's like to be by yourself and have kids. I, I know the whole dynamic. There's nothing y'all go to except for, I don't know about having no period. I'll be honest, I don't know about that now. I don't know about that having no baby. Not me doing it. But I understand. I understand that there are things that people go through and you need somebody to understand that genuinely care about you. To know you ain't by yourself. If anybody here, anyone even know, if I catch you, I catch you, you say, I, I'm by myself. I'm going to put you out. I'm going to put you out just to flat because I know you're a liar. You'll be by yourself because that's, that's the road you chose. You're not by yourself because we ostracize you. Y'all agree? Y'all tell us about him by themselves because we make them by themselves? No, that's the road you chose. I'm going to put you out because you're a liar. You ain't never got to be by yourself. You ain't never got to go through nothing by yourself. That's the road you chose. I just, I just want to suffer and lose everything and kill myself. Get out. You're an idiot. You're too stupid. I'm not finna I got here. I'm not sitting in the hospital. I'm about to have a heart attack. I just I don't want to bother nobody. I'm just working out. 
Man, I'm going to bust over that counter. I'm going to kick that one in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run straight to surgery, cut my chest open, fall on the table and fix it. Then they're going to be like, man, that was gas. I'm going to say, oh, blank. I got to sew it back up. <laughs> I'm going to be bleeding, gushing everywhere. I'm like, but sew it up right I got a guy saying, I apologize. I just tell you, I apologize. I didn't know. I moved too fast. Blood still skiing, but I'm sewed up. I'm honest. Sarah, put your name on the book. I never. How many of y'all left y'all pal to bleed, gut scoot, shoot out? How many of y'all know she need? How many of y'all want to make it a show me? She need to put her name on yeah. Sarah, it ain't me. The folk don't vote it. <laughs> this is what y'all, y'all raised her to laugh? Guts and stuff should, but even your parents hurt. Yeah, but I saw it up and I be just as honest as I can. That's all you can do. The day, what we gonna do? I had to Sarah put her name in there and put four check. Cause you, are you gonna do anything else out there, Sarah? I can't make any promises. Good. Just do two check. You did good. That good. That two there. See that? See honesty. See the see the rush I'm trying to live too right. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna be righteous from now. Put nothing up there. You ain't, gonna, you ain't no way in the world you're gonna be that righteous. Slow down. Slow down. We're gonna do what we're gonna do. We're gonna get ready and we're gonna get up. And we're gonna pull out. And we're gonna pull out tonight. We're gonna, we're gonna be the honest us. When I say the honest us, we can't change nothing. If anybody did anything earlier today, anybody did yesterday, last week, you, we can't change it. Going forward now, they're what we're going to hold ourselves accountable for. Their point. That's all we can do. That's all we do. Let's go forward from here. Let's go forward with our mindset. Look at Stop being alone. Stop fighting it by yourself. You ain't got to fight no war by yourself. Nobody, you ain't got to. None of us. You ain't never alone unless you make yourself alone. You got phone number, tell me. We got a whole thread of loving kind. Whole <laughs> You're not going to laugh at my Ernie, you got to fix your home. Your wife bust out laughing in my face. Yeah, put it. He said, make, hey, Ernie, you come put a check for trying to tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm your raw like I'm all raw. <laughs> yeah, put your name on that tongue. Yeah, husband and wife. I don't know what happened in there. <laughs> Folk were coming along so good, wasn't it? Woo. And I'm sure it disappointed you yelled at me like that, Ernie. I'm sorry, I'm sorry too, Ernie. You, you don't get in trouble like that. I don't. Uh, put a check being too righteous. <laughs> now, over, when we talk about overly righteous, isn't that right? I don't never do nothing wrong. Put a, but tonight, what we're going to do? Later. Yeah, later. We're going to take our time. I mean that. We're we going to try to. And they say cross T dot out. We just want to make sure we get it right. None of us in here can afford to burn. Nobody. Y'all got it. Let make us a pack that this Layla, we're going we to work to make sure we get it right. If we don't know, ask. Don't try to fight no war by yourself. Let's work together. I guarantee you it's easy if we sit down and we work through it together than for you to do it by yourself. Listen, ask yourself the question and answer it. It's going to be wrong and negative. <laughs> Don't ask yourself nothing, especially if you know you ain't feeling right. Don't ask yourself nothing. Yourself gonna tell you the wrong stupid answer. Let's work this out. Because you self a wanna fail. Failure is easy. It gives you an excuse. When Yahushua came on the scene, I bet he took away all excuses. Y'all got it? And we ain't gonna put none back on the table now. We're gonna work through this together. We're gonna, we gonna build together. We're going to stand together. I'm telling you, if I catch you, you your own island, we're going to float you out there with some, with some bricks on it because we intend for you to go down. I ain't no use of that lead. I want you to just flow. Listen, if you do, who, who you going to blame if we done told you this? Who got to be by themselves? Who in here got to be by themselves? Don't tell me, well, you, you, I just got to do it all myself. I just got to fail by myself. I got you ain't got to do that. We work together. Let bounce information out so we can all be better. Let's be better. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, we're going to get ready so we can get our little money out your pocket. You got to get that money. Got it. Right back to that money. Right back to that money. Y'all. I can't just say that now. Oh, lame duck. Come on here. Don't get that money. Right. I ain't messing around. We're going to get through. Give Mr. Yahoo a hand clap.